Good morning, chat. It's Saturday morning. It's time for XCOM and other things. But uh, let's uh, let's fade out of the Final Fantasy music. <clears throat> let's let's do the thing. Hold on, I I want to put this into OBS. Hang on. Oh, hang on. Hold on. I got this. Can I just can I just drag it in? I can. I can just drag it in, chat. Perfect. All right. I'm going to do I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to turn that off. And then I'm going to do this. Okay. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. We got bagels. Whoa! They're bringing them back, chat. They got the bagels. I'm so excited. Um, that's yeah, that's all I had to say. Let me let me get rid of that. Hold on. Remove. Yes. Go to a black screen. Close all this stuff. Okay. All right. I think I think we're good. I think we're ready to actually start. Um, can you guys see the screen? Can you see XCOM? Emmykins, I am trusting your whatever. Anyway, let's get going here. I was reading some stuff on the Steam forum last night. Um, just some like general advice. And I think I'm like playing wrong. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing oh, good. for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Yeah, let's get those uh let's get those out here. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. Ooh. ooh. Oh, that would have been helpful to have before. Satellite hmm. launched. Also, I, um, I keep forgetting to take my, like, allergy pills. Also, I went outside yesterday, which was probably a terrible idea. So, if I, like, mute in the middle of a sentence, it's because I had to sneeze, like, really bad. Okay, the foundry. What we, everything's half off now. That's pretty good. That makes things a little more workable. We believe the chance of critical shots. Okay, critical shots, yeah. Advanced servo motors. Um what what does that mean? Does that mean they move more? I don't care about the shiv. I don't really Well, actually the improved medikit could be good. We'll do that one. I'll make sure production begins immediately. And as soon as Oh, and you can just straight up like stack them. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um what is the jellied Illyrium? We could devise a formula to increase flamethrower effectiveness without risking our soldiers. There's only one flamethrower in the game, as far as I know. I don't know how useful that is. And improved pistols is just like, you know, whatever. I guess advanced servo motors could be worth it just for extra movement all right let's spin the wheel also i remember what uh what spin the wheel was from that's when we were playing kerbals and when i was speeding up time and we watching all the orbits it looked like a wheel spinning around so there you go so, oh hang on i got it uh yeah okay dr volen's got the plasma pistols yada 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 Improved pistol three. Uh, okay. EMP cannon. Oh, okay. We'll we'll grab it, but I don't know that I ever used the EMP cannon to be realist with you guys. Um, and then we need something over Europe. So let's grab. Oh wait, can we make? Can we make a thing? Hold on. Can we make? We cannot make a firestorm because we don't have alloys. Ooh. 
All right, I guess we're gonna use the old, the old interceptor fellas. So be it. Okay, carry on. Oh wait, oh, we got alloys, hang on. Can we buy one now? No, we can't, we need 29 alloys, ugh. Satellite operational, okay. Oh no, exalt, come on, man. Quit stealing my stuff. All right, who are we getting out here? Uh, Grumpy, Grumpy Thumper's been very helpful. Let's give him a plasma pistol. We don't have a plasma pistol because um, that's just how my life works. Gotcha. Yeah, whatever, he'll be fine. Way to go, Grumpy. And a scan. Okay, well, I mean, I'll try my best, but <laughs> I, uh, we'll see. Enemy is it's fast and hot. Closing on target. Oh, we got it. Nice. All right, so this is the big boy. I'm guessing this is a, um, this is another one of those uh, abduction ships. So we'll see. All right, so we're bringing in Urban, despite some misgivings about that. We don't really have anything better to give Urban right now. And Yeti is still in the crappy old armor. Let's see if we can make some, and if there's anything else we might want to buy as well. Because honestly, grenades at this point are... Okay, yeah, we cannot make Titan armor. Grenades are kind of meh at this point in the game. I'd much rather give everybody, like, uh... Whatchamacall? What do I McCall? Hold on. We can make a plasma pistol. We can make... Hang on, where are the... The chitin, there we go. We can make the chitin plating. Kind of expensive, though, for what it is. Um... Hmm. Do I care about any of these things? What does combat stims do, exactly? Just provides a boost. That doesn't really tell me much. Uh, flashbang grenade... I guess I'd rather have flashbang grenades than the regular grenades, right? We'll just make three of them. Why not? All right, let's go to that thing. Send the Sky Ranger. Yeti, you get a flashbang. Vulcan Rider, you get a flashbang. Wait, I don't know a flashbang. I guess uh, Urban can have a regular grenade because he's been he's been using those grenades to pretty good effect, I think. And then flashbang, and then we're ready to go. Too late to change it now. Oh, I'm glad I don't have the cam on on Saturdays because uh, <laughs> I look like garbage. <laughs> oh no. Saturdays are such a mixed bag for me. XCOM interceptors have splashed a UFO. Interesting fact about original XCOM, if you shot down an, uh, a UFO over water, it was just gone. You just, you, so you some, sometimes you'd have to trail them until they were over land and then shoot, try to shoot them down over land. Oh, wow. Big boy. Right. It is impressive to me that the meld has survived. This might actually be a terror ship. Hang on. Because this doesn't look like the abduction ship. 
Uh oh, you guys might be able to hear Cat today. He seems to be having some problems. I think he probably wants to go outside. He, he, he loves to go outside. And he, he doesn't just get to like go outside. He like, he has to be supervised. So don't worry guys. We're not just letting our cat roam around and like location. hurt himself or whatever. Emmykins would not go for that. All right, Overwatch. Oh wait, hang on. There's a there's a hotkey for this. Yeah. Um. Okay. It, yeah. Still our turn. It's Overwatch. Do, 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 do. All right. So there is some meld up ahead. Let's get Hex in there and see what we can see. Thin men, huh? All right. I can I can mess with some thin men today. That'll be a good time. Okay. Let me just grenade him, maybe. That would be a good use of my time. We can grenade one, I guess. Probably worth it. Just to, you know, get rid of one for sure. And then we can... Oh, and there's the meld as well. I just spotted it. Nice. Goodbye, thin man. See you in hell. Heading out. All right, let's move our heavy up. And these, I believe... Yeah, these are like the little jump. Like they'll take you up to a higher level. Oh, man. The big ships are such a pain in the butt to, like, navigate. All right, I would like to get that meld if that's at all possible. My concern is, as always, overextending ourselves, which we do not want to do. You don't want to move beyond your ability to support yourself. It does not help. It is bad. And Overwatch. And Overwatch. And Overwatch. And we're good. So I hope everybody's uh, Saturday is going great. Unless you work on Saturday, in which case, um, I'm sorry. Of course, presumably if you work on Saturday, you have another day of the week off. So hopefully you're not like working seven days a week that would that would suck and I feel really bad for you Headed there now. but I work an office job I get weekends off for the most part I I think I've worked like a Sunday or two um which was bullshit by the way because what I did didn't even end up being used for anything, so I just wasted like a whole Sunday doing work that was never actually utilized for anything. And that seems to be a running theme on my days that I work, or any time that I have to come into work on a Sunday or a Saturday or whatever, is like it's just complete bullshit. Like there's no good reason for it. Hey, look at this. We get a couple of mutimes. times. Like when I was in the army, but this is this is an army a free army story for you guys. We had to come into come onto base during it was like during a hurricane that hit New York City or something, and we had to come in because that's just I mean you know like National Guard type stuff. We we were maybe some some part of our unit was going down to do that kind of stuff. Oh baby, maybe we can uh if we can get this thing. Hold on. I would like to get the muton, to be honest. But unfortunately it doesn't look like I can actually run that far. So let's move Gandalf here. And he can take a shot at the Berserker. And the Berserker's gonna move up. And then Vulcan Rider can take a shot at the Berserker as well. All right, so so the story, right. So we come into work. 
We, we stand in formation for like an hour or whatever. And it's raining. And I had to come into work on a Sunday, so I'm already like pissed off. And they're like, okay guys, you can go home. And I'm like, well, that was bullshit. Why did we have to do that? Like, you know, nobody cares that I have to suffer, right? All right, can we, we cannot get to the other one. So I'm going to try to done this one. 95% chance to hit. We got him. Yeah. All right. And we'll just run here and hit the other one. He's, he's probably dead. He's definitely dead. Good deal. Okay. And honestly, we can just leave Yeti back here. Urban can stay on Overwatch. But again, as with these types of missions, when you're inside the, the ship, they tend to get a little a little not conducive to your sniper, right? All right, get up there with the jump jets and get that meld. Put that meld in my hand. So yeah, if we want to use Urban, we're going to have to move him up a little more. We'll be going this away. And we'll get everybody nice and reloaded. And remember, we need to capture an outsider. I probably should have actually brought more arc throwers now that I think about it. That might have been more useful. So I would like to get urban maybe up here. Because then there's a whole like other section of the ship that he'd have uh, sight on. All right. Catch up here. I'll we'll just go here. And then Vulcan Rider can move up and reload. Okay, reload. Good deal. And reload. And all is well. We hear Cyberdisc, I hear Mutons. Do we want to go through the side? Yeah, why not? I haven't heard any meld yet. Hopefully we come across the meld at some point. Time to motor. Up, up, up. And then... Urban... Cannot grapple up to anywhere. Unfortunately. Let's go behind our mech. And don't glitch across the map, please. Thank you. There's some noise. This is maybe a bad idea. It was not a bad idea. It worked out. And then finally, our last movement here. Or second to last, I suppose. Nick Gandalf is on Overwatch. X is on Overwatch, and we're good. Hey, Beetle Rock is here. How is killing Urnab Vent, Ventfalls the Sniperman going? We have not killed him. We got very close yesterday. The only person who's died that had a name has been Gandalf so far. Gandalf has died twice. We're on Gandalf the third. But, uh, Urban... Oh, I'll, we're, this is also the third try at the game. So, I guess Urban did die, if you want to count some earlier attempts. Moving to position. Right, let's get Vulcan Rider down there. What a weak wizard. I mean, he keeps coming back, so he must have some kind of powers. Moving to position. He was Gandalf the Grey, then he was Gandalf the White, now he's Gandalf the Blue. 
I guess if we gotta bring him back uh, another time, he'll be Gandalf the Brown. And then I'm I'm out of wizards from Lord of the Rings, I think. Okay, there we go. Let's reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. Pistol Overwatch. And Overwatch. And also Overwatch here. Again, we need to get that outsider, so let's try to do that this time, huh? Alright, first things first, we send in the mech. Because he can tank a lot of damage. Pre presumably. Yes, 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 there they are. There's the outsiders. There doesn't seem to be much left when we attack outright. Okay, so I'm gonna... I get we can probably kill one. And yeah, we'll just send Rillip in. Rillip is in. Oh boy, guys, you know what's coming. 69, dudes! 69% chance to hit. Let's do it. Yeah, I know. There's another one, though. You don't understand, Valen. Listen to me. I know what I'm doing. It's probably fine. We're gonna hunker down. Send Gandalf in. And then pop some smoke. Oh, maybe we can get, oh, we can get the mech in there, too? Heck yeah. I'll do that. Okay, we get Vulcan Rider up here. And can just hunker down. Because again, we do not want to... Oh wait, Flashbang? Oh, Flashbang might have been helpful here, but whatever. Maybe next time. Here we go. He's gonna move. He's just moving to one side. He's wasting his time. He's missing. Beautiful. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to move up. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's not great. Um, hmm. Okay, this is a, this is a Vulcan Rider situation here. Boy, they were just... They were just waiting for this, huh? Not ideal. Vol oh no, I don't think the rocket can go that far, guys. Uh oh. Ooh. All right, hang on. This is why we have a sniper, right? Wait, hang on. Switch to the rifle. Okay, Urban. I am counting on you to maybe. Oh, disabling shot would be good. Headshot would be better. I think? No, we can't get a headshot from there. Or we can't get a critical hit. Okay, 82%. 100% chance on... Hang on. What am I shooting, actually? I can't actually tell what I'm aiming at. Hold on. Okay, this is the outsider. This is the Berserker. This is the Cyber Disc. This is a Muton. This... Wait, wait, oh, hang on. There's like two things right on top of each other. Okay, this is the Cyber Disc. This is the Muton. This is the, the drone. Okay, so we want to hit this thing. And we want to do a headshot. 100% chance to get a critical. 100% chance to hit also. Wow. Now we're cooking. All right, Rillip. Hold on. This is actually, this could be bad. Um, oh no. If, okay, well I can't, Rillip can't take critical hits. So we're just gonna run in here and we're gonna try to stun. 80% chance to hit. We'll go for it. We got him. 
Yippee! Okay, as for this. So one Muton, one Berserker. I feel like. Oh wait, I can still I can still shoot. That's pretty good. I can't still shoot. Okay, that's fair. Um, all right, let's hold off here. Let's move up with Vulcan Rider, who of course cannot actually move to a position where he can shoot. So I guess we're just gonna have to move and not shoot. Hmm. Yeah, not ideal. But whatever. Okay. X is gonna move up here. And what, maybe chuck a grenade to take out the uh, the enemies? Okay, grenade doesn't go that far. Fair enough. Let's just blast this berserker. Yeah. Get wrecked, berserker. Okay. And then we can, I mean, what is the bigger threat, right? The cyber disc maybe? But I don't think we can kill that. This might be a smoke grenade type situation. Gandalf has a shot at the berserker, which is perfect maybe, if it hits. He missed, all right, that's fine. And then we just, we pop smoke here. I don't know, and this is heavy smoke, right? So this should be the good stuff. All right, so let's see what they do. Cyberdisc comes down, switches to grenade mode. No, switches to shoot mode. Nine damage, oof. All right, and this is gonna repair. Yeah, that's good. And again, Rillip can't get criticaled. So despite the fact that he's taken a lot of damage, he should be safe. Ish. They're moving around the side. Uh oh. That's not great. Um. Okay, that did not kill. That's good. Oof. Okay, another big hit on Rillip. But that's so that's 16 total damage. There's another muton. Um. I didn't know there were three mutons. That's not good. Um, we're, yeah, we're going to have to get Rillip out of there. Okay. Vulcan Rider is going to shoot a rocket at the enemies. And I think this is going to be my best bet, so let's do that. Good deal. Okay. All right, Hex is going to. Okay, first of all, we're gonna get um, Rillip to like a safer position where they're less likely to get shot at. I'm actually gonna go here. Heading there now. Man, Rainbow Yeti took a big hit from that Berserker, huh? We'll do double shot. Ugh. Got him. Got him. All right. Perfect. All right. And then you're going to fall back here and do a little bit of healing on uh, four hit points. I thought we got the upgraded ones. Maybe it's not finished yet. Okay. Next up, we have our sniper who's going to finish off the cyber disc. Maybe, hopefully. Alternatively, we can try to hit the mutant. And I cannot see how many hit points it has. I think it's at full, though. Yeah, it's at full. Um, hmm. Okay, who's, who's still in? We could flashbang the mutant. That would basically disable it. Oh, there's another Muton as well. Shoot. 
All right, let's flashbang this one. Because otherwise he's going to be a pain in the butt. There we go. He's disoriented. So that should remove him from being able to hurt me. And then we can take out this attempt to take out the cyber disc. All right. So this is where Hex is going to come into play here. 79% chance to hit the cyber disc. I, oh wait, hang on. We have, oh, okay, never mind. I was going to say we have that ability, the electro pulse, but I don't think that's going to work because we can't get close enough. So let's just try to kill him. Cyber disc is down. All right, so getting that outsider kind of put us in a difficult position. But we're still doing pretty, oh, look at that. Double kill. Didn't even need the flashbang. All right, and then shoot at this one. And dead. All right, perfect. We got him. We got everything. Everybody's happy. Except for my cat, who is uh, who's still fussy. He really wants to go outside, I think. He's he, yeah, he, now he's standing by the door. All right, we did it. We got the thing. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What mm. is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate Doesn't look very organic. faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... And perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? No. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object Ooh. and our global communications array, which we'll need to trace the signal. Oh, this is this how and we get the hyperwave like relay? Crystal should be our top priority. Good. All right, let's get going. So we got a couple of wounds. Rainbow Yeti, Rillip got a little injured there. Deep pockets. All limited. Okay, why is it? Why is it doing that? Uh oh. Hold on. Another live capture. Please give my thanks. We got a light plasma rifle. I know it can't be an easy task trying to bring them in alive. Air gate berserker. That the research team will make it worth the trouble. Okay. So first things first, let's sell off all the damaged stuff here. Oh, we oh, we can get a lot of money. Hang on. Um, we'll sell all the exalt stuff off. There we go. Okay. Make sure that's all just stuff that we can afford to sell. Damage, 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 damage. Exalt, 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 exalt. Okay. Okay, something is funky with my controls here. Hang on. Um, all right, hang on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save and exit. Is something is like being constantly pressed? Probably because I had a button pressed down. So we're just gonna restart the game. Nobody freak out. Play, load. Okay, well, freak out because it's loud, I guess. That's an option. All right, come on, game. Not not responding. What the heck? Okay, it's good now. Okay. Load the game. Next. It's loaded. Okay. So let's go ahead and quickly do our interrogation here. Armor technology. I already got all the armor. Oh, maybe. Oh, hang on. No. We can get the Archangel armor still. We'll get the shard. Hey, that's my name. Kind of. 
Um, Foundry is still working on the improved med kit. So yeah, that was not done yet. Can I make more Titan armor? Do I even want more Titan armor? I guess I want four suits, right? Yeah, we, we should only need four because there's four regular troopers. Um, one of them's going to be the sniper with Archangel and then number six will be a mech. And that's probably my end game dealio there. We want to... No, oh, we don't have enough meld to really do anything. Never mind. All right. Well, let's go ahead and scan. We got it, chat. Yeah, no, just carry that thing around. Yeah. What? What's he locking into? There's nothing there. Oop. You? Oop. There you are. Tactical. Do we have an eagle over these coordinates? Recon satellite Delta Two is just coming into line of sight now, sir. Coming on screen. Oh. Nothing. Is there an alien no, base? That's impossible. I know it's there. Switch to thermal. Hello. Give me subsurface. Enhance. Enhance. Gotcha. Reestablish comms with all the available ground. Think of what we might find once we get inside that facility. Imagine what they might be doing down there. Enhance. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Okay, we found it. Now, how do we get inside? I thought you'd never ask. Explosives. Oh, I guess we're using the, the crystal shard. That's fine, too. Okay, assign new research. Build the skeleton key. Assault the alien base. Okay. Uh, what, EMP cannon we don't really care about. We'll take the Archangel armor. Because the sooner we can get Urban equipped with that, the better, I think. I've got a hunch as to how we might get into that facility. Just give the word, and I'll begin manufacturing the key immediately. I don't think... Yeah, I guess we'll make it now, but mm, I don't plan on going until people are out of the hospital. Commander, there's a priority one transmission Ooh, here we go. From the council. Uh oh. Uh oh. Um... All right, so one problem with this is that we don't have our assault, and our assault is typically who we would use for this particular mission, and he's out for 10 days, ugh. All right, this may be a case where we need some, some assistance. All right, well, let's get make sure everybody's geared up properly. So Titan. Uh, we should probably hook him up with. Oh, boy. OK, how, how are we going to go about this? Do we have enough armor for everybody? We do. OK, so we got four Titan armors. We should have enough lasers um i mean we don't necessarily need milkman to be in uh in titan armor right hold on let me see did we get archangel armor did that finish it did not we're working on it now shoot because this is this is the uh this is the chrysalid mission so we're gonna do it well, now I wish I hadn't sold those um, Exalt laser snipers, because we're going to be using those here. All right, let's try that again. Site recon. Launch mission. Loadout is going to be a laser sniper rifle and extra grenades. So yeah, this is going to get ugly. Real ugly. 
Actually, flashbangs could work on chrysalids, right? I think they do. I don't know for sure, but might as well bring them. And actually, we're going to give Gandalf the chitin plating. He suffered enough, chat. All right, and then flashbang. We want to try to capture a freaking thing. I kind of do. Hold on. All right, Emikins is back, and she's going to take Cat outside. That's great. He, he clearly needs it. I need another arc thrower. Okay. Arc thrower is here. We'll buy it. One arc thrower, please. Light recon. Yes, this is the chrysalid mission. Excellent. We look forward to seeing your progress. Arc thrower, yes. If we can get a bunch of chrysalids, I mean, getting a bunch of chrysalids doesn't really help us. Getting one at least is probably good. But I don't know that more actually helps. Alright, let's go. So I'm not going to spoil what the mission is, uh, except I already did. I said it was chrysalids. For but it's basically, it's like a horror mission type mission. This operation will be in Canada. Okay. But hey, we get panic reduction, we get some much needed experience, our snipers can test out their abilities. Uh oh. Yes, let's. Alright, send in Hex up to the front. And I'm probably going to put the sniper up here, if that's at all possible. On my way. So, going to go there. Does the grapple hook work? Oh, the grapple hook works on this. That's perfect. Fun fact, uh, chrysalids cannot attack. Uh vertically so you're safe if you can just fly which isn't super applicable here because the only way to fly is the archangel armor but in classic XCOM there's just armor that lets you fly like that's just a thing that exists it's super good it's like I mean it's in the late game but you know it's still good Okay. Overwatch. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. What's that noise? Or the equivalent in French, I suppose. Okay, I, think, I believe the shark is going to pop first, maybe? No, I guess not. We'll send Hex up ahead. See what he can see. Hmm. I'm questioning my decision to maybe put a sniper up there. Maybe we just leave the sniper way back here. But then again, I'd rather have him in a more defensible or like higher elevation. So he has more critical hit chance. And the fun thing about chrysalids is you don't need to be in cover. You can just, you can just kind of chill because they, they're going to hit you. They're going to hit you. They don't care about cover. They're melee. Look at this corner position here. And um, I guess just switched everybody and then I'm just gonna end turn all right so the noise is coming from over here let's go check it out 
Oh, I heard noise. Something's moving around. On my way. You've got zombies near your position, uh -oh. strike one, which means the chrysalids aren't far behind. Uh -huh. We need to find out where these things are coming from on the double. I'm no fisherman, but something about that shark just doesn't look right. We have a new objective. Is, is Newfoundland like uh oh oh shoot they're like in there that's not great um you just grenade them there's another one the zombie over there zombies all over zombies everywhere all right zombies ate my neighbors all right let's try this Get our sniper into an elevated position. Okay. Get our heavies into good positions. And Gandalf is not in a great position here. He's like way down. Okay, here we go. Uh, get into something position I don't know now yeah, we're gonna want to take these things out before they become a threat we got him is he he's still alive oh my really okay come on that's a little ridiculous does up to 10 damage I think this might be a grenade a grenadable offense we can take out at least one and damage the other for overwatch purposes. All right, here comes one. I'm a zombie. I'm a zombie. I'm getting overwatched. Uh oh. Missed. Ugh. Well, that could be a problem. Yeah, okay. Well, that one's dead, at least. Next up, we have this one who's gonna wander in. Bully. Okay, he's not, not very smart, is he? Know about what? Okay, I gotcha. Oh, I get to go now. Cool. All right. So first thing we got to do is deal with the zombie. I guess it, d it couldn't go through the fire. So the grenade was actually helpful. We can go through the fire, though, because we've got Titan armor. Okay. Now we need to continue moving up. And I think these might be weaker versions of the chrysalids. They're like freshly hatched or whatever. There's a, there's something that they they call them. And uh, so we should have n okay. Hang on. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't even see what's happening. Okay. Cool. Um. So there's a zombie down there. The chrysalids just lined up for the flamethrower, I guess. All right. Well, welcome aboard. I don't think they can panic. Oh, no, they can. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Stupid chrysalids. Oh, no. Oh, no, they're panicking. Run away. Chrysalids don't like fire, I guess. All right, let's get Gandalf. Here to deal with nothing because he can't see. Do a little headshot action. Should be dead. He's dead. Nice. Take care of the zombies. All right, Overwatch. We have a shot on a chrysalid. We'll take it. Way to go, Urban. Finishing off that chrysalid. Not even a problem. Here comes another one. An, a miss. 
another one. Uh-oh. At least they can't get me. So they panic, but they still get to move, huh? Ooh, Gandalf. Not looking great. Actually, it's looking fine, because Vulcan Rider is here to save the day. He's dead. Way to go, Vulcan Rider. Oh, shoot. Vulcan Rider doesn't have a shot. Um, Let's move up to the whaling ship. Take a shot. We got him. All right. Let's quick reload. Actually, hang on. Before we do that, let's make sure as we move up. Because the hardest part of this mission is going to be the retreat for the most part. Because that's when they just keep coming and they don't stop coming. Um, fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. And then we... Then we leave the level. We can take a chance to reload here. Okay, he's just got no cover now. Okay, nothing happened. We want our fastest guys, so that's the mech and Gandalf to get in there first. Okay, nothing. And it, uh, why do I hear boss music? Right, let's go ahead and reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Okay. Here they come. Here come the zombies. Let's get him. Boosh, he's dead. Man, the railgun is so sweet. My favorite part of the game, and I'm sure most people's favorite part of the game, is when you manage to outpace the aliens. Source of our infestation. But this is worse than we could have imagined. If the chrysalids are using that whale as some sort of hive, who knows how many mean, they could produce? Sure. Where's the transponder? Okay, there it is. Activity from inside the hold of that ship. I think you're about to have a lot of company headed your way, but nothing you've got on hand is going to be enough for this one. What we need is an air yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can reactivate that ship's transponder, we can have air support pinpoint your location and take the whole thing out. Uh oh. Objectives updated. Okay, that's not great. Hmm. Alright, so Gandalf went up there. This needs to be on Overwatch. Snipers need to be on Overwatch. The heavies need to maybe get in there a little bit. Moving. Okay, I don't see anything. Oh, uh, what was I saying? I'm on it, Commander. I I don't remember what I was saying. It's probably not important. The important thing is, let's try not to get Gandalf killed again. That's not fair. Okay, immune. Oh, good. Ah, here we go. Now the snipers are going to kick in. Okay, fair enough. Didn't kill it. Luckily, he, he can only get hit by two at a time because of the way this works. All right, here, now we get some overwatch. There we go. You love to see it. Love to see some actual overwatch in this game. Another chrysalid. Why did I think that it was a good idea to bring the capture -y stuff? That's clearly not how this mission is set up. It is not conducive to uh, to capturing any of the chrysalids. It's an airstrike mission. All right, whatever. Let's move up Vulcan here. Vulcan has no shot. Where's my snipers? 
All right, well, let's get the big one first. Go for the critical. We get, okay, we don't get it, that's fine. We'll just overwatch here. Let's see if the jet boots will help here. Yeah, they, they will help. Good deal. That's affirmative. Do, 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 do. Can I get Volket? Okay, Volket. Or uh, this is Gandalf, sorry. Heading Keep mixing up. everybody's names up. But yes, Gandalf can in fact move. And we're going to Electro Pulse. That should take out both of them. Nice. Okay, and then Gandalf is going to move to the transponder. That's affirmative. And we know for sure that there is one remaining. Because we just saw it. But hopefully we'll get some overwatch fire. Or it'll go for the mech, which would be a bad idea. Dang. Come on, man. No critical? Ooh. Eight damage. What the heck? Pretty brutal. Okay. Well, now we should be good, because now we just have to leave the ship. Well, except for the back where the chrysalids keep spawning. All right. So let's hit the button, and then I think there's like a time limit. The ship's transponder is active and transmitting. You need to get moving, Strike One. That whole Eight turns. Going up in a matter of minutes, and anyone left behind is as good as dead. Oh Check no! I I think the first time I did this mission, I actually ended up leaving somebody behind. It was it was a real like close battle. I don't even like. I think this is supposed to happen a little earlier because I remember having ballistic weapons. So I don't know what what's going on here. Moving to position. All right, we'll move here and go into Overwatch. Snipers on Overwatch. The heavies will, I guess, be on Overwatch as well. They can work together a little bit. And we should be able to take out anything that spawns. So here comes this one. Three people are going to shoot at it. And they're all going to miss. Okay, nope, they're good. They did not miss. They in fact hit, which is amazing. All right, next up, we've got to get Gandalf the heck out of here. So let's start doing some dashing. Yeah, you can just run through the fire with the Titan armor. Going to Overwatch with the snipers now, so I don't have to worry about it. The heavies can then catch up. And then they can all start dashing together while the snipers provide cover. Okay, then we get the mech out of here. He'll dash as well. And that should basically be the whole mission. So we did take a little bit of damage, but I think the armor more than makes up for it. Yep, here they come. Just one, huh? Oh, here comes some more. Okay, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure more are going to start spawning. Uh, yeah, we can just we can just dash the rest of the way. They shouldn't be able to catch up to us. All right, and then yeah, we'll leave the snipers for last, of course. Everybody just dash. Now, if you're doing this mission, if you don't know how this mission works and you're kind of keeping everybody together and they all go into the ship, then you might have some additional issues. Because now you have nobody providing cover fire. Um, everybody's just running. It could be bad. I don't actually know. I don't think I've ever done that. But the mission is is 
sort of a one trick pony. Like once you know how it works, you really don't need to fuss with it too much. All right, sniper, yeah. Five damage, okay. We need to get the plasma sniper rifles. This is ridiculous. Can't even shoot a chrysalid. Yep, there's another one. Another one. DJ Khaled is making chrysalids. And now we should just be able to continue running. Okay. Definitely want to get the heavies out of here. Gandalf can probably run and still overwatch, because now we need to start moving the snipers as well, and Gandalf has the extra three movement. The mech can probably do the same. Maybe not. We'll, we'll keep the mech with the heavies here. And then we need to start, like I said, pulling the snipers back a bit. Gandalf on overwatch. Sniper can start dashing. And again, I don't think that the chrysalids can actually catch up to you at this point. So it's just a matter of getting to the ship. Tick tock, five, oh wow, eight turns seemed like a lot, but we're down to five now. Yeah, you're definitely going to have a bad time if you're not doing this the way that I just did it. Okay, Gandalf missed, cool. Ooh, they're, wow, they're, oh, they're just going for it, huh? All right, here they come. Yeah, this is the part that probably trips some people up. Okay, step one, try to kill this one. Miss, because you're not even aiming at it. Let's do a headshot here. Try to finish it off, if possible. Okay, five damage. Maybe that, uh, that scope upgrade would be worth it. I don't know. We'll get this one first, because we have a 100% chance to hit. Boom. Man, I'm super hyped for XCOM 2, guys. I was thinking about it last night. And just... Again, the, the sheer amount of customization that you can do, it's it's a little ridiculous and a lot of fun. Alright, now well, we, yeah, it's even worth it if we can't get a crit, kill it. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's take a shot, 61% chance to hit. Looks like we got it. Okay, good deal. Then let's just get our sniper with the pistol over aye, aye, here. Commander. And I think everybody's within range to just evac next turn. The only good bug is a dead bug. I actually used that gif for one of my my Twitter tweets for when I was playing this game. I thought it would be appropriate. Although, it, if I'd have known this mission was coming up today, oh jeez was going to be happening today, I would have used the gift today. Okay, yep, we're, we're leaving now. Everybody's in range. There's Urban. There is Vulcan. Here is Gandalf. Here is Hex. Here is... Y Gandalf is exhausted and procrastinating horribly. Hmm. Sounds like my life. Ah, uh, oh, we get to see the airstrike. That doesn't seem like a very good airstrike to get rid of these things. But what, what do I know? All right. Day, another successful Milkman mission. has been promoted to another higher level sniper. I gotta stop bringing colonels on these missions. Panic reduction is good. Touch, 
All right. And what am I waiting for? Oh, the covert op to finish, yeah. Sign some new research. Now we have, what is advanced flight? Archangel armor. We can improve the small system flight and increase their maximum flight time in combat. Good. Light plasma rifle. We'll go with the light plasma. I don't care about the EMP cannon. So if we're going to play through this game again, I would definitely go hard on going for live captures early on. Yeah, that is it. Gandalf is right. That that airstrike was not nearly destructive enough. I could have survived that. The chrysalids probably survived that. I guess, you know, when you're animating these things, this was again, this game is 10 years old. Back then, animating like a big airstrike like that was probably far too costly. So they just didn't bother. Officer training school. Rapid recovery would be good, actually. Hang on. Um, what are we? What are we doing? Scan. We're spinning the wheel. All right, let's get the extraction squad going. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Snipers, heavies. Who are we missing? Oh, we're missing one of. Okay, we need another support then. We don't actually have another support. Incredible. How did this happen? How did we... Did we burn through all of our supports? I guess we... Gandalf has died twice already. Alright, I guess we're bringing the heavies then. And this is Exalt, so I don't think you can capture them. So we're just gonna go with... Flashbangs and grenades, I guess. Okay... Milkman. I'm gonna give Milkman a med kit as well, just in case. Oh wait, Archangel armor, hang on. I wanna make some Archangel armor. I can't afford to make the Archangel armor. Just let me make one. What do we have to sell? I mean, we have a bunch of flight computers, can we sell those? What does it take to make a Firestorm? It takes one power source and two flight computers. Hmm. And a lot of money. All right, forget it. We don't need the Archangel armor, I guess. I guess I just won't get to have fun. All right, launch the mission. Let's go. Hey, Invoker Gray is here. Me, me. Me, 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 me. begin the assault and invoker gray are you volunteering to be a support we don't currently i guess i can buy some new soldiers that would probably be okay although they'll be rookies which isn't ideal Ooh. Strike one will need to protect the operative while they finish decrypting the Okay. Data All right, we can do this. If the goes yes, down, okay. We'll we'll, uh, we'll have to buy some new soldiers new then. Once I have a little bit more money. All right, so we're going to be extra careful this time because this is go. Exalt and they have proven themselves to be worthy adversaries somehow. I don't know how it happened, but it did. Okay. So if we're going to be putting somebody up in a high spot, I would much rather have Urban be up on one of these little containers here. And of course, they don't let me, so I guess screw me, right? I don't get to have that. And I suspect there will be some exalt inside the little warehouse here so let's just prep for that now 
mech you can overwatch Gandalf you can move up here Urban, you can have your laser pistol ready to overwatch, I guess. Same for you. Oh, wait, hang on. I got the battle scanner. What am I doing? See if there's anybody around. I hope this works three-dimensionally. I don't think it works three-dimensionally, chat. I think it's only scanning the roof. Which does me absolutely no good. Incredible. Alright, Overwatch. And hunker down. Because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want Grumpy to get totally screwed here. Okay, let's open the door. Get on the floor, everybody walk the dinosaur. Alright, I don't see anything. There they are, perfect. All right, assholes, it's payback time. How many times are we gonna let you get away with killing Gandalf? That's my question. Well, not this time, oh, come on, I can't, I can't hit them? Are you kidding me? All right, well, let's do this then. Ooh, we do have some shots from back here at least. But first things first, let's grenade him up. That's gonna blow up the tank? Okay, I screw it, let's blow up the tank then, whatever. Boom. All right, so they're exposed, they get the adrenaline surge, whatever. Let's get Gandalf up here to take some shots on him. Or maybe to drop smoke, depending on what the situation is looking like. Hmm. It's not really ideal. Aye, aye, Commander. Man, the lack of movement on the heavies is kind of disappointing. Okay. You can take a shot. 95% chance. Let's get rid of the sniper because they're probably the most deadly. Yep. Alright, Gandalf can take a shot at their support guy. Beta Rock is lurking while playing RP1. You're still doing that stuff, huh? Man, I don't know how you guys managed to play so much KSP. It's crazy. You love the pain. Well, hey. You, you'll f be right at home here in XCOM land. You missed, you fool. Now I get to take a shot and miss also, because that's how XCOM works. And there goes the tank. Yeah, because a grenade would blow up a tank. Come on, people. Ridiculous, whatever, it's XCOM. Everything explodes. I need Urban to shoot here. Switch to the sniper rifle. Shoot him in the face. He's dead. Beautiful. You love to see it. Urban actually putting in work today. This is amazing. Maybe this is an on day for him. Hey! Wait, Vulcan Rider's here too? Oh, there he is. He said good morning, Julia. I somehow missed that. All right, let's move up. Hunker down. Yeah, better safe than sorry, right? Okay, heavy. You heavy fellas can go around the side and the provide some support for when I get the, the other sniper up onto the roof. Switch to pistol. Ugh, it's just a regular pistol. Gross. Yeah, okay, we'll split into two teams of three. So we'll go this way. 
with you guys and then we will send the other three around the other side which they're doing now so Gandalf can move up here and finally Vulcan Rider just had coffee Ooh, you're gonna spray paint your headlights are you supposed to spray paint them I feel like you'd want them to not be painted over But I'm not a car man. I'm a uh, I'm a computer guy. Headed there now. Okay, Overwatch. Got it covered. All right, nothing spotted. Good. Our operative is near one of the exalt com relays, Commander. You just need to activate it to acquire the residual data. Overwatch. We can just probably park the mech here to provide cover of all this area. Gandalf is probably safe to stay there. Urban is probably going to be more useful down here on the corner. Man, I wish I had that Archangel armor. That's okay. We'll get it. We're going to get it soon. Invoker Grey likes coffee, huh? I am. I am not a coffee person. I have never liked coffee, ever. Okay, we probably shouldn't overextend here. Especially without having a comm relay available. Okay, so we do have hostiles over there. Some of them are dropping in right now. You fools. You fall in for my plan. Well, that one was not expected. Okay, one down. I'm on it, Let's see what we're dealing with here. Nothing? All right, there's a helicopter, though. Can we take the helicopter? Coffee's the only thing you haven't given up in your diet. Coffee would be the first thing that I would give up, but I don't drink it, so I don't even have that option. Okay. So we're gonna pop this. That com relay is down, Good. All right. Our the system and decrypted some of their data. Then we're gonna make our way over to the other one. Any other relays nearby. Okay. Put you guys on Overwatch. You on Overwatch. You on Overwatch, and switch to laser sniper rifle and go on Overwatch as well. Now we should have pretty good coverage of the entire area here. I do miss having an assault though, so once we get Grumpy back, we'll have to... If Rillip's not healed yet, we'll have to switch him into his assault role. Okay. Nothing was spotted. Go to the corner. There he is. Alright, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. On the move. Let's hit him. Uh oh. Well, that's not ideal. Hmm. Okay. Well, that could be a problem. And there's only one way to solve a problem like that with explosives. Uh, we can't. Wait, hang on. Magic pixel. Saves us once again. Here comes Vulcan Rider with the explosives. And, <laughs> and wow, talk about a save. That's amazing. All right, let's get the mech over there. I don't think we'll have eyes on them, but we can maybe chuck a grenade in their direction. Okay, so grenade will take out one at least and damage the other. Okay, never mind. Takes out both. And Gandalf will stay on Overwatch here. Urban can stay on Overwatch here. We have a 100% chance to hit with a pistol. But maybe we can chuck a flashbang. No. I guess we'll take the shot. No, wait. He's got explosives. Ah, oh, whatever. We got Titan armor. Who cares? What's he gonna do? Shoot a... Oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Ah, whatever. 
can suppress him at least. Nice. And then finally Grumpy can move in to get ready to trigger this thing. I Suppression can be really good. But it's one of those things where I never really use it. Oh, looks like we have some company. Hello, gentlemen. I missed. I missed, chat. Oh, but I hit with Gandalf hit, I think. Way to go, Gandalf. Hack it, we're good. Then we just gotta get him out of here. Okay, let's go. Run here. So, what's is anybody doing something fun today? Besides watching me play XCOM? Which is theoretically fun. Like, in a... I don't know. Like a hypothetical way. It could be really fun. Aw, oh, man. Come on. Just give me the kill on that one. Ridiculous. Alright, let's see if you can... 51% chance. We'll do suppression again. And then... Vulcan Rider can maybe take a shot as well. With the extra boost from the suppression. The hollow targeting. Alright, yep, he's dead. He's all melded up too. Gross. Only I'm allowed to genetically modify my soldiers. Okay. So Urban can take a shot here with headshot. And maybe kill you. Yep. There we go. Okay, nice. Simple as. Overwatch. And then we wait. Vulcan Rider is doing his headlights, going to Costco maybe. Want to find time to do some Kerbal. All the, are those humans? The Exalt troops are technically human. Yes. But they're, they've allied themselves with the aliens, so we don't like them. Alright, well, enough is enough. It's time to rocket these guys. Deal with their cover. Yeah. And we hit the helicopter somehow, even though I wasn't aiming at it. Alright, well, there's one. Let's get you out of here, first of all. He's out. Alright. You are going to shoot. I would love to head for the evac site, but let's not do that. So, Vulcan Rider, it sounds like you have a very fun-filled day of activities for today. And Beetle Rock is playing uh, RP1, which just sounds miserable, but that's for that's between him and himself, whether he's having fun. I mean, I'm having fun playing Kerbals even if people keep dying. I mean, you know. Not nearly as bad as the old game, right? Hold on, do we have a grenade available? Gandalf doesn't carry those anymore. Okay, well, let's get in close. Take some shots. We got him? He's down to one? <laughs> okay, yeah, this is why you need plasma weapons at this point in the game, I guess. Invoker Gray is going to cook up some pork chops. Oh, man. Oh, oh, that sounds like a great day. I would love to do some power washing, although I don't really have anything to power wash. And also, I don't really like being outside. But the concept of power washing. Maybe I should get the power washing simulator. Alright. Yep. Grumpy Thumper. We got some Exalt stuff. Yeah. Hang on. Can we do the thing now? So it is definitely in Egypt, which I was suspecting. Attempt raid on Exalt HQ. How much longer until Rillip is out of the... Nine days. I don't know that we can wait that long at this point. 
because I would really like to get this mission over with. Let's go. Raiding a country that has already left XCOM and is not harboring the Exalt base will increase panic in the surrounding countries. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, they got him. We're going to Egypt. Put on your mummy costumes and let's get ready to rock. So this one is going to... We're going to be bringing in Grumpy. Get him geared up with the latest and greatest gear. Um, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Um, make items available. Gandalf is gonna switch over to flashbangs. And yeah, we do need another support, and I want to get Invoker Grey in here. But, um, that'll have to wait, because we don't have another support, like I said. Give you that. Alright, that should be good. What do you have? You just have a grenade. Okay, so we have Urban Venture. We've got Hex. We've got Vulcan Rider. We've got Gandalf. We've got Major Milker. Oh, that's such a good name. Vulcan Rider's got some pork belly. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. Is this the team we want to send in? I think it is. I don't see any issues with it. Other than that we only have one support, but Milkman can sort of serve as a secondary support. Since our primary sniper is going to be urban. Also, the lack of Archangel armor is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. We'll get that eventually. Do you have a little more money? A little more alloys? If a unit is suppressed after going on Overwatch, it loses its reaction fire opportunity. Oh, neat. Oh, now I'm curious what I'm having for lunch and dinner today. I'm sure Emmykins can enlighten us all. Yeah. Look at all this cool stuff they have. They have a pyramid in their lobby chat. That's how you know it's in Egypt. Oh, this is probably a terrible mission for snipers, isn't it? Yeah. This is not a great sniper mission. That's affirmative. I mean, like, we could put a sniper up here, but that doesn't do us much good. Okay, we'll grapple up here, I guess. Wait, uh-oh. Okay, I can somehow see through the wall. I think that might be a- oh, there's like glass there, I see. Alright, interesting. Alright, well let's get everybody else up to the front here. I didn't- Okay, wait, how can I see- how can I see? How is that a thing? Oh my god, okay, whatever. Just going Overwatch. Let's get Gandalf up here to go on Overwatch as well. Actually, Gandalf's gonna pop smoke because this is kind of a crappy situation. All right, Milkman is gonna also move to cover and. You are gonna run and gun. Going in for the kill. Grumpy. And he's gonna overwatch with the the shotgun here. Alright, let's see what they do. They're coming out. There, there's a lot oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, well there goes one. The the wall has um been busted down, so that's not great. There's there. Oh, wow. Okay. There's there's more. There's a lot more chat. This is definitely looking like a job for a rocket. He's got a grenade chat. Oh, he's got a smoke grenade. Interesting. Interesting use of the smoke grenade there. All right. So this is a 
This is a <laughs> this is a rocket situation, chat. Shot is blocked. What is it blocked by exactly? The door? Can I move the door? Can you thank you? Open the door and now get on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Zero hmm. percent. There we go. I want to get as many stupid idiots inside the Wait, radius what? as possible. It's like casting a fireball in D&D, &D, right? Like you just want to put as many people in the area of effect as possible. Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of dudes to shoot at. Um Okay, then. Wow. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. You guys like fire? Maybe you're more grenade types, I don't know. But we're going to go for the fire. Because it's funnier. Oh no, I forgot about Overwatch. Ugh. I'm impressed. They even managed to replicate our hollow globe. Yep, they sure did. Not sure why that's impressive, but it's kind of cool at least. They're all dead, alright. So that's four, and I think there were nine, so there's still five left to go. Let's try to take care of them then. Move into full cover here. Looks like Exalt prefers form over function. Not what I'd call a winning strategy. He's dead. He's down. And then 13% chance to hit in the smoke. We'll throw a grenade at him. Catch. Kaboom. There's an oh, there's another one. Do we can see what can can urban see anything no of course not why would urban be able to see anything what's the point of having a sniper in this game i foolishly brought two snipers on this mission where snipers are kind of useless okay well whatever we'll do that um jersey milker can maybe hit this guy whatever if he hits him he hits him if he doesn't he doesn't he hit him? Yeah. Now we're cooking. Then we'll move up here. And Gandalf has a pretty decent shot on this guy. Alright, he's not dead. Unfortunately, he's got a rocket, which is... Uh, maybe he'll move? Hopefully he moves. They're not backing up. Oof. Seven damage. Yikes. At least we get the free shot. Yeah, we're gonna need to heal. Was that all of them? No. There are more. Ah! How much? Oh, gee, okay, well, you can't take too many more hits here, so let's, um... I, I don't know, do we fall back? Do we fall forward? I feel like we go forward and see if we can shotgun this guy. Doesn't look too promising, honestly. Alright, we got a good shot with Urban, finally. Go for the headshot here. See if we can get him. Nice! Okay. Now I feel a little more confident finishing up this mission. We'll go here. We use the med kit. Still only heals four because still haven't got the advanced med kit. Let's reload. Move up. Oh no! It's the worst possible thing that could have happened. I triggered another pod. Um. Hmm. Well, I triggered one pot. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Good to go. Uh, who, nobody else. Yeah, nobody has a smoke grenade because we're we're done with the smoke grenades. All right, Overwatch. Overwatch. Fall back to heavy cover. And then they get to go, I guess. It's gonna move there. Overwatch. Gonna go here. 
gonna move there and gonna chuck a smoke grenade okay that's fine I, I feel like I'm in a pretty comfortable position here, so we're just going to chuck um, a rocket at these guys if we can get a good shot. Let's find that magic pixel. Just got to find the exact right place. All right, I guess I'm just going to get two of them because for whatever reason, I'm not getting a good angle on them. Oh, we got them all two, two even. That's great. Okay. Okay. So I have, I do have a shot at a kind of a low percentage, but we'll take it. We missed him. That's okay. Because we've also got our sniper, who will definitely hit. Smoke can't save you now. Beautiful. All right, Jersey Milker, move up. And chuck a battle scanner. I want to see what the heck is in here. I'm tired of being surprised. Scanning target area now. Okay. There we go. There's nothing. We've already seen everybody. All right. Fair enough. Affirmative, Commander. Can overwatch from there. I would like to send Gandalf in to heal. Because Gandalf has gone from taking all the damage to uh, healing all the damage. Alright, Sniper is going to move. He's going to move, he's going to shoot. Oh, what the hell? That's not great. Um... All right, well, now we have no cover. So we're going to have to advance. All right, let's see if we can uh, sniper him. We can. Perfect. We hit him, we hit him. If we don't, we don't. That's what I always say. We did hit him, though, which is good. Man, they really are going for function or form over function here, aren't they? All right, Overwatch. Um, move up here. And Overwatch. Overwatch. If we could get up close here, I would like to heal probably Grumpy. You're good to go. There we go. Nice and healed. And then finally, we have our sniper who we'll just leave on Overwatch. Here he goes. He's gonna shoot, I guess, and do some damage. And we're gonna shoot right back at him. We got him. How many guys are... I don't think there's like a boss or anything. I think it's just a bunch of Exalt dudes. So... I don't know how many there should be. Which I guess there's the backside here. It, wait, is there? Maybe? I don't know. All right, well, we'll start moving forward then. Moving out. All right, next up, we have our guy here. Oh, he can just go right into the globe. That's pretty cool. There they are. All right. All right, gentlemen. I hope you like grenades. Because that's what you're about to get. Take out their cover, of course. Then start taking some shots at them. This is probably a good run and gun situation here. Get up nice and close. Okay, 88%. Take the 88% chance. Oh, come on. What a ripoff. 
And of course, Urban doesn't have eyes on them, so we need to move around. It's okay though, everything will be fine. Oh wait, we got this sniper though, let's not forget about him. So we'll take out the one that we can for sure hit first. He's dead. Okay, we have another one. Smaller chance to hit, but we'll take it. All right, that's fine, we missed. Then Gandalf, I guess we can move up to this cover and try to take down this one with the one hit point. All right, he's dead, so there's one left. And he's not really in a good spot. Yeah, oh shoot, okay. We may have to pull back uh, Hex here. He's taking a lot of damage. Hey, it's Dingy, oh my gosh. What's Dingy doing here? I guess I'm playing at a time where you're actually awake, huh? WFXS indicate that a minor electrical fire was reported near the upper floors of a large office building downtown. Sources indicate that first responders were on the scene within minutes. So far, there have been no reported injuries. In light of the recent events taking place around the globe, it's certainly reassuring to know that our emergency services personnel are still putting their lives at risk to deal with these situations as they arise. It's dingy. You, you really like Dragon Ball Z, huh? Or maybe just Dragon Ball in general. I think there's more than just Z. Because I know from your uh, from your emotes that you have, it's all Dragon Ball themed. All right, so Gandalf has been promoted to major. He gets deep pockets. Urban has been promoted to colonel. Killing a flanked or uncovered target with the sniper rifle does not cost an action. Ooh. All right, this is the big one, guys. Do we go double tap? Provided no moves were made one turn. So we can either get two shots or killing a flanked or uncovered target with the sniper rifle does not cost an action. It's got to be in the zone, right? Uh, but maybe, no, I think, I think double tap. Oi. Yeah, I think it's got to be double tap because in the zone is such a, like in the late game, there aren't going to be enough targets that you can take down with one hit. So I'm going to go with double tap. It's definitely, there's definitely an argument to be made for either one though. All right, so this is going to be uh, this going to be rapid fire. OK, we got some art. We got some other garbage Commander, with exalts headquarters destroyed and the remaining forces in hiding. We shouldn't have any further need for our covert operations section. Good. I think it's time we refocused our efforts on the aliens themselves. Sell their artifacts. We can sell their art. We can sell their junk. Okay, there we go. Now we have a bunch of money. Now we should be able to get that Archangel armor that I've been eyeing. Oh yes, it will be mine. So let's check the barracks here. Yeah, we got some injuries. Let's do... Um, want rapid recovery and we want new guy because we want to buy some new people. All right. And then we'll, nope, not hanger. Actually, hang on. Yes, hanger. We want, we don't have any laser rifles. Oh no. Okay. Can we buy a laser rifle or laser cannon? Yes, we can. One laser cannon, please. And let's get this switched out for the laser cannon. Now we have no money though. What can we afford to sell, chat? Mm. So I wanna buy like two new people. Just sell some Illyrium. I don't think we need that much, right? Fire soldiers. All right, you can have 70 capacity. That's ridiculous. 
Uh oh. All right, we have a terror mission. Well, we got to do it. Um, so let's make sure everybody's geared up properly. Urban Venture is going to have the Archangel armor, of course. Uh, scope. Grenade is fine. The Grumpy Thumper will give the Arc Thrower two. And, okay, let's see. We'll bring in Robocop. His, his nickname is Marvin. Oh, that's great. We'll hook him up with the Mech 3. And we'll give him the railgun since uh, Hex is out for right now. Then finally, we either have a second sniper or we have another heavy. Hmm. Off call. I think we got to go with the sniper, though. All right, so Urban's got the Archangel armor. Milkman has the Titan armor. I'm not going to make another Archangel suit just because I know we're not going to have two snipers most of the time. Everybody else is geared up, it looks like. All right. Wait, hang on. Is this what I want everybody to have? Yeah, this is probably good. All right, here we go. It's time to shoot some aliens. So if it's very hard, what are we expecting? We're expecting mutons. We're expecting chrysalids. Maybe the upgraded floaters, if that's the thing that exists. Heavy floaters, I think they're called. Will be in Canada. A number of disturbing reports indicate the aliens are openly attacking and within a major city. What else? What else are we expecting? I don't know. I don't remember what all the higher level aliens are. I guess there could be a sectopod, which would be kind of bad. But we could probably, if we focused fire, we could probably take it down in one turn. And I don't know that sectopods are going to be on a terror mission. Alright, so first things first, it's time to fly. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. Get up high. All right. I guess you can do a pistol overwatch here. And then we'll start moving up. On the move. No enemies spotted. And there I don't think there are um like secret enemies, right? Like none of the humans can change. All right. We got mutons. Just as I suspected. Oh, nice. Free shot. You love to see it. Okay. I guess we'll start taking shots here. Intimidate, doesn't matter. And unfortunately, uh, Grumpy does not have the ability that lets him get free shots, which would be cool, but he doesn't have it, so it doesn't matter. So we'll just have to kill this thing as we go. I would love to capture a Muton. That would be really cool. All right, who's up next? This guy? I guess we want to get in. Oh, he doesn't have the kinetic module on this one. Shoot. Mm. All right, whatever. Let's just shoot this guy. Should kill him. Yeah, there we go. He's dead. Okay. Meanwhile, Grumpy is going to go. Uh, I don't want to get someplace where I can get grenaded, so we'll go over here and try to maybe send Tim around the side. And yeah, there's not really a good, like up here would be good, I guess, but we'll just keep him on overwatch for now. Oh, here we go. Major Milker taking that shot. Baboosh. We got him. Nice. We might actually be able to capture this one if we're lucky. 
Yeah, come in, come in real close. Get into cover someplace close by. No! Oh, he's just shooting a, a civilian. That's okay. I mean, it's not ideal, but it's okay. And there are some other mutons that I saw. Do a little run and gun action and trigger all the mutons. So everybody knows that the game is not fun unless you can see at least six enemies at a time, right? Watch them scatter. Okay, can I go now, please? Thank you. Yeah, we want to hit this guy. Okay, one shot. Two shots. No critical. Unacceptable. Okay. All right, who is taking the shot here? We'll go with Milker first. 75%, 85%, 65-85%. All right, I think we take the 85% chance here just to finish this one off. We'll try to capture another Muton at some point. We get some extra shots here. We got him. We get a second free shot now. Well, not free, but, you know, we can take the shot without having... Whatever. You, you know what I mean. I assume. Let's move up and free this civilian here. Oh, somebody's getting flanked. Hello. Don't mind if I do. You missed. Gandalf, you... How could you? How could you... How could you miss? All right, this should be pretty easy. This is just, you know, just shoot the guy. And then we'll do another one. Do a disabling shot, actually. Boom. That way he can't kill anyone next turn and we can get in real close. That seems like a good use of our time. All right, reload. And then he'll have to reload. They're trying to pull back. They are. They oh, they really are. And there's I hear the floaters now. Car's gonna explode. That's fine. Not a problem. All right. Robocop, move in. Rescue this civilian, and try to get eyes on somebody. Hmm. Not a great shot. And unfortunately they pulled back so I can't even do the thing I wanted to do. Roger, Roger. All right, we'll just take the shot with Milker first. Go for headshot. Hmm. Two snipers might actually be a good, well, on certain missions, right? I keep saying like it depends on the mission. I'm on the move. But two snipers are very powerful. It's not a lie. Let's move up. And re eh, we'll overwatch. Overwatch. And yeah, just having a sniper in a really high position is great. You can just shoot anything that shows up. Uh-oh. Okay. Alright, moving our heavy up. We'll get this civilian out of the way. You're clear. Go. You're clear. Let's get up on here. What a cool billboard. That guy's wearing sunglasses. All three of him. Alright, Gandalf. Actually, no, we'll send the mech in first. Let's see what we can see. You are safe. Okay, let's see if we can see the, the heavy floaters up here or whatever. No sign of anything. Interesting. All right. Well, if we could maybe spot these things sooner rather than later, that would be great. 
Overwatch. And Overwatch with the scatter gun. Enter Overwatch from down here is probably okay. Alrighty then. Something is over there. Hopefully it's mutons. Oh, no, it's floaters. Oh, wow, they're about, to, they're about to get absolutely missed. Okay, there we go. And there's the heavy floater, it would seem. And here come the mutons. Perfect. Right on cue. Why do the mutons always fall back? I need you guys to... Wait, what? Who died? Yeah, whatever. All right. Let's go up here. Actually, hang do I have a... Yeah, the rocket doesn't have the range, unfortunately. Just move up here. We'll get the civilian out of the way. Get into a better spot. So we have a floater. A heavy floater, specifically, and then we have this guy. So we'll shoot him first to kind of get him into an easier way to hit with uh, the assault. Wait! Gandalf! Don't freak out. What are you doing? I guess the intimidation finally got to him. All right, as for you, it appears to be time for you to double shot. You missed? You... Okay. There we go. Ooh, that's not looking good. Um, a Robocop? What are you gonna do? Hmm. Not great. Heavy floaters taking the Overwatch. Missing. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. We can do this, chap. This is like a puzzle we need to solve. So first of all, Milkman. We need you to hit 0% chance of critical. All right, let's hit again. Also 0% chance of critical. Urban. 100% chance to hit the heavy floater. I feel like taking out the heavy floater is more useful right now. So let's do that first. All right, perfect. He's not dead. Oh, wait, we have double tap. <gasps> I forgot we took double tap chat. Oh, I'm so happy. Well, let's do as much damage as we can to both of them, because then it's easier to kill them. All right, there we go. Well, that makes the decision a lot easier, doesn't it? Um, unfortunately, 43% chance to hit is not even close. Yeah, that's kind of garbage. Or how about you? 65% chance to hit? We'll take that. Takes care of the heavy floater, at least. And then who is left? Nobody is left. So here comes this guy. He's go he's He has to go all the way around because he can't climb the ladder. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh no! A lady got shot. And then another lady got shot. Oh, come on, man. Ooh, we're not doing a great job here, are we? Oh, we get a free shot. Take out the Berserker. Then we send in the mech. Be able to flame these guys out, actually, if they haven't moved. Okay, well, there's one. I don't see the other one. Let's try to get eyes on the other one first. Um, on, can I run and gun? I can run and gun here. Moving at the speed of death. And I think we have to go here if we want to get the flanking shot. I've got a visual. Uh oh. Well, that's not ideal. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, wait, no, 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 not, not whatever. Hold on. Robocop still has the flamethrower. Can't quite get them both, though. Hmm. So what do we do here? Do we grenade them? I think we just grenade. 
Yeah, we'll just grenade him. Okay, whatever. Like, I was hoping that I would be able to shock them, but I can see that's not going to work. Missed! Chat, that was a 97% chance to hit. That sucks. Grumpy's in kind of a bad spot. Uh, I think we might need to move a little bit closer here. 97% chance. That's... That's rolling a 1, a 2, or a 3 on a D100. Which, yes, your odds are the same. Whether you're rolling that or you're rolling... Whatever. Still, though, it feels bad. Oh, wait, this, we have double tap. No, we don't, because we used it last turn. Oh, no. They're going to get so many moves. Okay. Going to go there. Going to shoot. Ooh. Robocop is not in a good spot here. Did they... Okay, they shot a civilian. There's nothing we can do about that. Wait, I get to—I just get to go. All right, I'll take that. Give me a little bit of breathing room. Okay. As for Gandalf, I think we can shock. Yeah, we're, we're gonna try to shock the muton because that'll give us a free plasma rifle, which would be huge. Seventy percent chance. All right. We missed. All right, fine. Then I guess we don't get to have that. Yeah, so we're in kind of a bad spot now. We'll have to kill that muton or it kills us. Uh, go here. Gandalf has nothing. We could, I guess we could flashbang. Robocop, what can you do? Robocop could just get up and shoot it. That's probably my best bet. He's dead. All right. And now... We're... Okay, we're done. Overwatch. And Urban doesn't actually have a shot on the floater, so we're going to have to Overwatch here. Let's hope they move around. All right, we get a shot from Gandalf and Urban. Urban should hit. Yeah, there we go. And then there's one left. We'll try to, we'll try to, um, whatever, use the stun gun on him. Ah, there he is. Okay, so step one. We shoot him with the rail gun. Hmm. We don't have a great chance to hit, do we? Can we get him with the flamethrower? I guess if we move up closer, maybe? I'm on the move. Yeah, we can get him with the flamethrower, it looks like. That'll put him in panic. He'll freak out. He'll hopefully... Okay, he won't go anywhere. Um, alright. So I don't want to, like, put all of our hopes on stunning this thing, so I want to have some backup. 55% is not what I would consider backup, to be honest. Alright, whatever. That's fine. We'll try it out. 34% chance to hit is also not great. Uh, can we maybe get... Uh, get Vulcan in there? Take a shot or two. 65%. Up to 7 damage. Five damage, that's fine. Again, we didn't want to kill it. We just wanted to get it a little bit lower. 95% chance, I'll take that. We got him! Yes! One plasma rifle accomplished. Beautiful terror mission, chat. Excellent work. Let's get in there. Hmm. 
We got the plasma work. rifle, we got the interrogations, we got the heavy floater. Alright. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Change the research. Interrogate okay, heavy floater autopsy first. That's gonna give us advanced repair project. We could reduce the repair time of our fighter craft and shiv units. Alright. That might be worth it. And then interrogation. Flight. Oh, nice. Now we can get advanced flight. I think. Uh, Plasma rifle versus light plasma rifle. I'm going to go with the plasma rifle. And flight. Sure. I don't know what that actually affects. Maybe the foundry has... Advanced flight. Advanced flight. Cost 162. Holy moly. I don't think I'm going to be flying around that much that that's worth spending that kind of money on. So let's just spin the wheel. Oh my gosh. Alien abduction site now? Are you kidding? Um, I'm going to go for scientists. Like, I know I can just kind of ride out the rest of the game, but think speeding up research would be great all right so we've got robocop we've got it's basically the the same squad as last last mission all right, who's going to be up close and personal with these things let's give gandalf a arc thrower as well oh we got the alien grenades hold the fort we got alien grenades chat now we're cooking this is the good stuff. And sniper, yada yada. We'll give the sniper a flashbang, I guess, just in case. Everybody's geared up. Everybody's ready to rock. Let's do it. So at this point, we're mostly just waiting on Rillip to get out of the med bay so we can do the alien base assault mission. South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there. Ba, 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 da, ba. We've just received another report of an abduction in progress. Operation in Flying Summer. Do, 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 do. All right, we're here. We're ready. Let's do this thing. Come on. All right, so we got an office building. We have a little it's a little bit of cover on the approach. First things first, let's go up. Perfect. And then I guess we'll switch to the laser pistol for this turn. But after that, we should be full sniper. All right, let's start moving up. There's some meld, seven turns on the clock. I'm on it, Commander. Moving to position. And we don't need the meld at this point, but I will grab it. There's still a couple of gene mods I might want to take. But at this point, I don't know exactly what we're going to be aiming for as far as uh, the modifications go. Okay. Overwatch, 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 and end turn. Okay, here we go. I hear mutons. What else do we hear? Nothing, I guess. Nothing spotted there. We'll move Robocop up to the middle. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's good, like, we haven't seen anything yet. But at the same time, okay. I would like to see something, just so we can take it out. Overwatch, not laser pistol, switch to the rifle. Just why? 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 And if you're wondering why I'm saying why, it's because I was told last night that you can just press Y to turn on Overwatch. 
Isn't that neat? What a world where there's hotkeys for these kind of things. That's affirmative. All right, we should be able to grab this meld. We'll just, we'll just dash for it. Oh, okay. That was a bad idea. All right, so we've got... We got the whole, the gang's all here, I guess. We've got the, the sec, the mech, we've got the, it's called the mech pod, is that, is that true? Um, okay. What are we doing? This is kind of gross. We do have one shot, so I guess we'll take the shot that we have. Start there. Lure him out into the open. Alright. Only did five damage, but that's okay. He'll start moving now, which is good. Okay, this is Gandalf. Gandalf can probably take a shot here. He missed, that's okay. We can get a really good uh, couple of shots here from Urban Venture. Okay, well we got a shot, I guess. Now, if we could just get a critical, that would be cool. All right, double tap. Boom. Three damage left. Should be able to finish him off with whoever's around. I guess that's going to be Grumpy. And see, he doesn't get to shoot. That was considered a dash. That was considered a dash chat. What the heck? All right, I guess that was considered a dash for some reason, even though it did not look like it was. All right, well, hopefully this hits. It didn't hit because, oh my God. Graphical glitch. This is bullshit. I demand a recount. All right, well, the Berserker's gonna go in for a, a big swing. The Muton is going to shoot at the mech. All right, that's fair. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. First, look at the meld. Then we will shoot this thing a couple of times. dead. Okay, next. We've got some damage we have to deal with. I do get the free shot at least. So that does not count as an action. And then we could run and gun. Although that doesn't do us much good. But why don't we move up and see if we can drop a grenade or something. so we can clear out the cover here. Oop. Beautiful. And I would, again, I would love to capture a Muton, but it just has not come up yet. I can't run and gun? Why can I not run and gun? Well. I'm so confused. One... Okay, there's the sectoid back there, I guess. All right, milkman. Give us some milk. We got to take out this thing, right? Hold the fort. All right, let's start here. Yeah, because of the, I mean, what's the sectopod going to do? Or is the sectoid going to do? They need to stop naming things sect, whatever, whatever. See if we can hit. We can, good. Fortunately, that doesn't do any damage, like when the uh, the laser discs or whatever they're called explode. All right, let's see if we can kill this thing. Looks like we can't. Oh, I should have. I could have captured it. Or no, did I already capture one of those? I already captured one of those, we're good. And then we'll pop some smoke here, I think. 
bobber. Okay, there we go. And that's everybody. So he's gonna move. He's not retreating. He's standing right there. And he managed to hit you in the smoke. Unacceptable. Ugh. Alright, what are my options here? I really, really just want to capture a muton. Like, it's not even funny. We can disabling shot. Hold on. I can't disabling shot because he's he's undercover. Oh no. Okay, how about we have a flashbang somewhere? Does anybody have a flashbang? You have an alien grenade. Nobody has a flashbang. All right, whatever. I guess we're just gonna zap him. Wait, that only does five. Hmm. All right, let's go there. Uh-oh, there's more. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that sucks. All right, okay. Maybe we can shoot a rocket through there, maybe? I don't know. Vulcan, you're my only hope. Let's fire a rocket. Oh, we can. Nice. Unfortunately, the, um, the sectoid moved. So we'll just have to hit these guys with it. Baboosh. There we go. All right, Muton is down. Uh, ooh. This is not ideal. Okay, we can do six damage here. Maybe Urban will have a shot on this one. No, there is no shot. Okay, fine. Overwatch. This is kind of poopy because we only have a 68% chance to hit. And he's on Overwatch, and I already moved. 37% chance. I'm not even going to run and gun there. That's useless. 68% to do up to 10 damage. That won't even kill it. I could maybe flamethrower it. But I don't think that will work either. Hmm. I guess I could get up close and electropulse it, maybe? But he's still on Overwatch, right? That could suck too. Alright, let's see what we got here. Up to 7 damage. We'll take that. Alright, 7 damage. And then we have a relatively okay chance of killing him. Okay, we didn't kill him. That's fine. So he'll just maybe kill us. He oh he missed two. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Two can play it. Wait, he gets two he gets two shots, chat. Why does he get two shots? It's not fair. I guess I get two shots sometimes too. Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Let's end this. It's not nightmare that I'm having. Okay. Can we run and gun here? We can, and we will. So we're gonna run. We're gonna take out the sectoid, or we're gonna trigger a cyber disc. Oh boy. This is just turning into a bit of a nightmare. All right, crap. All right, hang on. This is really bad. Okay, let's see what our snipers can hit. Our snipers can hit nothing. You can hit something, I guess. Sure, hit that. He missed, chat. Oh no. This is bad. Does five, only does five damage, huh? Okay, what can, what can you do? Rapid fire. All right, try to take this thing down at least. Three damage. M a little bit more damage. And then 85% chance to kill. I guess we take that. 
No! What in the heck is going on here? My luck has changed, chat. And not for the better. We are... We are... Doing poorly. Okay. That one's dead. This is not a good situation that we find ourselves in. All right, Overwatch. Hopefully something will come out. We'll be able to hit it. Okay, here comes the sectopod. Or the, the sectoid, not the sectopod. Sectopods are different from sectoids. Okay, what's it doing? It's shooting. It's, they're sh it's shooting at Gandalf. Okay, step one. We're going to try to revive the mech, which we can do, because we have that ability. And he's going to come back online with a little bit of health. Do I get to do it again? Yes, I do. Yeah, get in there, Robocop. We have the technology. All right, you're going to kill this stupid sectoid. You're dead. Good. Okay, next. We're gonna chuck a grenade to try to clear some space here. Because we need to be able to see where the cyber disc is. I don't see it, unfortunately. And now you can't hit. All right, go on Overwatch. And of course, that's not going to work. All right, let's go Overwatch. Let's shoot this thing if we can. He's dead. And then Cyberdisc needs to show itself. Here it comes. There she is. Meow. And the sniper gets a shot off. Come on, Milkman, you can do it. Yeah, go Milkman. He truly is the milkiest of the men. And then he's going to switch to kill you position. Ooh, damn. Nine damage. That was almost a... Well, no, that was actually fine. Uh, Shredder Rocket is going to be my go-to here. Don't miss because you're aiming close to where your ally is. Okay. Next, we're going to go up here. That's going to give us a free shot. Yep. And then we get another shot. He's dead. All right. And hopefully the explosion doesn't kill him. Okay. Well, we weren't close enough. Yikes. That sucked. We got some injuries on that one for sure. Definitely Robocop is going to be out. Oh, just Robocop is out. Everybody else, is, and he's not even out for that long. Everybody else is fine. Unfortunately, we didn't capture anybody. Which I would have preferred. Okay, we're good. Let's spin the wheel. Medikit is done. Do we care about any of the ones that we can do? No, I don't think so. All right. We've got some new people. Who do we have? We got Invoker Gray wants to be a support. We got a support. You get to be German. It's going to be fun. Invoker. Now, I can't guarantee you'll see any action at this point in the game, but... You can ride ride the coattails of the rest of the team to victory. We also got another sniper, which we don't really need at this point. All right. Let's just try to keep going here. The plasma rifle will be huge as well. Flashbang. Not now. I think we might actually have... We don't really need flashbangs. I just kind of made them. Now that we have alien grenades, 
I would be much happier carrying alien grenades around. Alien grenade is good. Flashbang, we can just regular grenades, whatever. Arc thrower. Flashbang can be a grenade. 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 All right, and then, what, we just need one more? Oh, no, we got, we got four. All right, dispatch them. Beautiful. And that gives us some money that we can then spend on a, ooh, a firestorm. Ooh. Power and a navigation, blah, blah, blah. We're adapted directly from alien designs. Do we? I think we do. It takes 14 days anyway, so we're going to have to wait. Plasma rifle, yes. And Rillip is back. In addition to manufacturing our own, we should be able to recover any we find on the battlefield. So the plasma cannon, the plasma sniper, the alloy cannon, which is the shotgun, the heavy plasma, which is the machine gun. I'm going to go for the Plasma Sniper. And I think it's time to do the alien base raid. But let's take a look here first. We can't actually make a Plasma Rifle, of course. Why would we be able to do that? Yeah, you're in the game now. Like I said, I don't know that you'll see much action at this point. We're kind of in the late game. I don't want to risk getting the little squatties killed, but let's do the alien base assault. Um, so we'll clear that. Okay, we'll get real up in here. We're going to get our all our best guys. So we're going to have Rainbow Yeti. We're going to clear out Milkman. I guess we have to bring Robocop because Hex is still out. Okay, that's fine. Okay, make items available. Let's gear up. Bo Yeti with Titan armor, scatter laser, Titan plating, and the arc thrower. Geared up with. You're gonna want a med kit, Titan armor, and I guess just a grenade. Okay. This looks acceptable to me. I think we could pull off a base raid with this. We just gotta not go too crazy on the explosives, because while we do have a lot, it's not unlimited. Man, this is giving me flashbacks to the, the classic XCOM base raids, which are outrageous. The procedurally generated levels really add to the... Uh, the like tension because you never know what you can expect and there could just be an alien there's chrysalids around every corner it's it's disgusting thanks to dr volan's research and some clever developments down in engineering blah 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 this blah, blah, blah 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 this mission cannot be aborted Ooh, that's not what you want to hear well fortunately i plan to just come out and win it so not even worried All right, aliens. Don't touch anything. God only knows what they're doing to those people. All the more reason to blow them to hell. Get moving. Yeah. Blow them to hell. So far, we don't have visual confirmation on the hostiles. I wouldn't get too comfortable, though. We're expecting heavy resistance. They're probably moving into position as we speak. Good. Then it'll be even easier to shoot them. Okay. So I guess first things first, let's uh let's fly. I don't know how useful that's gonna be on this particular mission, but it is a thing that exists that you can do, so let's just let's do that. Okay, so if I remember the map correctly, it's a bunch of this stuff, and then it narrows a bit, and then it it's 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 a pretty linear level, is what I'm trying to say. 
so it should be somewhat straightforward. Let's see, it looks like we can go through any of these gates. We'll want to have, we'll have a central team, which will go up the middle. And then I don't know how much I want to split up necessarily. Yes, Commander. So, I, you know, we'll just have, we'll just go right up the middle. And then if we need to shoot to the left or right, we can use explosives. That's what we got them for after all. All right, looks good. good to go. Yeah, we'll just go right up this central column here. And with that in mind, we'll hop on over with the sniper. Oh no! Urban! How could you do that? Can't believe Urban's done this. Hmm. Brag out, I guess? Time to use our explosives? Yikes. Okay, who's who's still alive? All right, you're still alive. Let's see if you can frag out. Frag out. Kill these stupid chrysalids once and for all. All oh, the alien grenades are so good. Okay, now we're we should be safe now. Now we just need to slowly advance. I heard a sectopod chat. I know that sound anywhere. Well, it looks like we found where they've been taking the abductees. But that still doesn't explain what the purpose of all this is. They're aliens. The purpose is that they're aliens. They abduct people. It's what they do. It's like Harley Quinn in the Suicide Squad. Okay. Do a little Overwatch. Do a little Overwatch. Do a little Overwatch. And then move up. Double time. Okay, good. Overwatch. And move up with the heavy. Perfect. So this should be, yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. Just move through the base, shoot everything we see. Rinse, repeat, till done. All right, Mr. Mr. Robocop. Why don't you move up and see what you can see? There we go. So we've spotted the drones. The cyber disc can't be too far behind. I don't know that we're going to fire a grenade at them just yet. But we can definitely shoot one. We better hit the harder one to hit first. Maybe we can just hit both of them with the double tap. Nice. Way to go, Urban. Using that Archangel armor to great effect. All right, next we'll move in Gandalf. Maybe there is no cyber disc, actually. I don't know. It's entirely possible that it's just the drones flying around. Seems a little weird, though. All right, they move the heavy in. They move the assault up. Come on. Come on, really. Get you up there. And then Overwatch. 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 And again, this mission is not timed, so we can just kind of crawl our way up. There's no... You don't have to worry about, like, oh, get to the end or else they'll activate the self-destruct sequence, which would maybe make the mission a little more exciting. But I can take as much time as I need. That sounds like mutons. All right, let's fall back so we have eyes on the chrysalids here. Yep, there they are. And yeah, these should be pretty trivial to take care of. Like I said, classic XCOM sec, uh, not, I'm going to say the wrong alien every time. Uh, the classic XCOM chrysalids are much, much scarier. Until you have uh, psionics, and then basically the game is trivial. Okay. Alright, 
So we'll just fall back, take a couple shots with everybody. 75% chance. Miss. All right, fair enough. Negative damage. That's affirmative. Relip can go there. Take a shot. Miss? Okay, sure. Enemy is still alive. You gonna miss on this one too? Probably. Wow. <laughs> All right, who's next? Our heavy? Vulcan? You got the scope, maybe you can hit this thing. All right, hit him for five. And then Gandalf, the blue, gonna take a shot here. 75% chance to hit, and he's dead, perfect. All right. Now we'll move up and we'll reload and then we'll get ready to advance through the first doorway here. Which means we're gonna have to send Urban back down to the floor because he's not gonna be able to shoot through the walls here. On the move. All right, reload. Reload. Heavy's gonna move up and reload. And then Gandalf and Yeti will move up and reload as well. Reload. All right, toggle flight. All right, and then, yeah, we'll just move Urban up here. So, and honestly, having Urban in flight mode is probably unnecessary for this map because there are going to be plenty of vantage points at the beginning of each section we can place our sniper at to be able to uh, to shoot at whatever. I hear something. I don't know what it is. Sounds like mutons, though. But let's see what we can see through the door. So yeah, like putting the sniper up here would give us good coverage of the whole room. Moving to position. Okay. We can actually, we can probably dash up to this point. Good copy. Moving on target. Again, the, the overwatch crawl works, but it's typically overkill for what you're trying to do. Because as long as you're smart with your movement, you should never trigger anything you don't know about. Position confirmed. You should know. I mean, there and there are times where like you screw it up like that's happened to me several times during this playthrough where I'm like, okay, well, I should be safe to move here. It's like the last move, and then, oh, nope, it was not. It was not safe to move there, because now I triggered, like, an extra pod of enemies. There's actually a really great clip from XCOM 2 where the guy's, like, doing all right in the mission, and then he he's, like, got a bunch of people. He's in heavy cover. And then it's his last move. He triggers like two enemy pods and just gets destroyed. And it's it's so sad, but also it's like, well, you know, you probably should have done that. Should see if I could find it. It's, uh, what was like XCOM 2 in a nutshell or something funny like that. I don't remember. Why can't we not just vault over these low cover? This is ridiculous. All right, whatever. And then same deal over here. We'll just move them up. And then we'll send in the assault. Who is really like, imagine if I moved here and it triggered like a bunch of mutons or something that would suck because nobody's in cover. All right, so it's shooting gallery time, it looks like. We're going to move up here. Oh, good. We didn't spot anything. So that tells me that it is safe to move up this way. As long as we don't go too far. Oh, that's safe. And let's take a look here because I'm pretty sure. Oh, you can just jump down. All right. That's perfect then. 
so we can just send all of our troops up on top of this thing. I wasn't sure if that gap was jumpable, but it looks like it is, which is good. Alright, so everybody is ready to move into a covered position next turn. Overwatch. Reload with the sniper rifle. Overwatch. Ooh, what's that one? Let's move up, see what we got. We got, all right, so a mechtoid, a couple of mutons, a berserker, or one muton, a berserker. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. What could they possibly be storing in those tanks? Hmm. Well, let's blow them up and find out. I know how much Dr. Valen likes when we blow stuff up. Do it the wrong person. I want to move Rill up here. Moving. Oh, that didn't trigger Overwatch. Unfortunate. Okay. Um, let's do a grenade. See what happens. See if it explodes and just like destroys everybody. It didn't do anything. Okay, sure. Why not? Um, mechdoid. We'll try to take out the mechdoid here. Beautiful, beautiful. Take another shot. Hold on. How do I want to go about this? We do have the sniper rifle available. You've already moved. You can still move. Alright, we definitely want to check, take out... The problem is I know that this stupid muton has a grenade and he'll just chuck a grenade at me, so I would like to take care of him first. Even though I would really like to capture him and his uh, plasma rifle. Good hmm. I might just want to leave that one on... All right, switch to pistol. Take a shot, I guess. I don't know that we can kill this thing. 59% chance. All right, I guess we can shoot him. Yeah, missed. That's fine. And then, yeah, we probably shoot at this thing still. Although maybe smoke would have been better. Because the sectoid is going to give it a shield. The Berserker is gonna get stuck on the wall, maybe? What the heck? What is happening? He's shooting at me? That's not fair. I can't see you. The Sectoid is going to shoot at my mech and not do anything. Perfect. All right, so... First things first, we need to get some eyes on these guys. So let's drop down here. We can actually see what we're dealing with. All right, so we have some friends. Let's start by dropping down here and we can double tap or double rapid fire the Berserker. And that should either take care of him or get him down real low that we can finish him off. Okay. All right, and then he's going to move at me, and that's going to give me a free shot with Rillip, which is why I wanted to bring Rillip. Uh, Rillip does not get the free shot uh, for some reason. All right, fine. We killed the sectoid. That's good. Uh, all right, then what? I suppose... Oh, man, the lack of the sniping here is real annoying. Gandalf could run down here. Like this is a this is a solve of a puzzle. It's just what order do I want to solve it in? Okay, take some damage. I guess I would ideally like to take out the Berserker. Like first, maybe? I don't know. Could get ugly, regardless. Yeah, you go there. Oh my gosh, something just happened. Hold on. Saturn 810. Hello, welcome to the channel. And, uh... Excellent! There you go. 
there's your there's your welcome all right let's shoot the berserker he's dead okay now we shoot the mectoid and we we kill him good so that lets me keep my sniper up in the perch for any overwatch firing overwatch no wait this is not the sniper uh well let's reload anyway we'll over nope switch to the rifle Ooh, that was close I think that was changed in XCOM 2 where you it um, there was like a separate overwatch for pistol overwatch but maybe I'm just imagining like a quality of life feature that doesn't actually exist all right so yeah this is gonna this is like a big hump and then that's gonna take us down into the next section so let's move up I think the only person who's taken damage has been the mech so far, so we don't need to repair him. Moving up, moving up. To reload the railgun. Move the heavy up for sure. We'll just get him onto parity here. Okay. And then Gandalf and Rainbow Yeti can move up. Reload. You can overwatch. Rainbow Yeti can move up and reload. And again, we will have to move our sniper at some point, but I think we can keep her back here for a while yet. How we move into the next area. I'm going to have to do long more at some point, right? People are going to be demanding it. And kind of people have been coming in here like, is this long war? I'm like, no, it's vanilla. I guess that was just one person and that was last night and that was Grumpy Thumper. But I've actually, I've never played long war. So it would definitely be a new experience for me if I did. I think we'll split up here. And you guys this way. Nothing spotted, which is good. We don't want to trigger any pods before we're ready. Location confirmed. And I know, uh, well, how long? It wasn't too long ago when uh, the Long War 2 was released for XCOM 2. So maybe we'll have to get into that as well once we get through XCOM 2. Overwatch, Overwatch. Always Overwatching. Hey, look at that. We got a sound. A spooky sound. Heading to that location. ET in sight. Ah, there they are. Come on, Chrysalids. Come at me. You won't like it. Uh, isn't Rillip supposed to get, like, a free shot when they get within four tiles? Am I... Am I misremembering how that ability works? Hold on. <clears throat> Confers a reaction shot against any enemy who closes to within four tiles. Does not require overwatch. Something's a little funky with that, I guess. I don't know. All right, we're going to just shoot a rocket at these guys then. This is not ideal. Sniper, can you hit anything? No, no, you can't. All right, time to toggle flight. Oh, that's as far up as we can go, huh? Oy. All right, never. We'll never mind. We'll we'll check into that in a second. Let's fire a rocket. Take out. What the heck? Okay, there we go. I don't want to blow up my assault's cover. All right, there we go. That that's how we wanted it to go. I mean War of the Chosen? No, I mean... Oh, is it is it called Long War of the Chosen? Yeah, yeah, that one. Um, I have not played... And it's, it's basically the Long War 2, right? But I haven't played it yet. Alright, let's finish off these chrysalids real quick. Even though for some reason that ability was not triggering, which is the whole reason I gave Rillip that ability. And yet here we are, it's not working. 
All right, let's see if we can get some shots off before they get their turn. 43%, ugh. Never mind. We'll just take cover here then. And uh, Overwatch. And... Oh, wait, we have a shot now? 100%. Double tap, critical hit. We'll take it. Get him. Nice. Well, not that nice. I take another one. Yeah, just shoot. Die. It's not gonna die, chat. Okay, we need to get that plasma sniper rifle. ASAP. This is getting silly. Alright, missed. Nice. Gotta say, having that height advantage is huge. Alright, that's a hit. Ugh. Okay, let's... As hesitant as I am to do this, um, it's probably still a good idea, but first we're gonna switch to our sniper and see if we can finish off the one that's in cover. Looks like we can. And it will, it will die, and then we'll be happy. Ooh. I know what that word means. Okay. Then we're going to run and gun, and we'll just get this one. We'll take care of him. Run and gun, double tap. And there's the door, so that actually means that we have an opportunity here to do some uh, reloading before we move on, and some healing. Dead. Alright. So, Gandalf can move up pretty far. So we'll move the mech up, and then we'll heal him up. And once... So we'll heal everybody up, or we'll heal, I guess, Robocop up first. And then we'll reload everybody's guns. Which, honestly, at this point, might just be the sniper. Yeah, yeah, like... Robocop hasn't shot a shot. Uh, Vulcan Rider just fired a rocket. On the move. We'll need to get the sniper caught up as well, but after that, we're pretty much free to just advance at our leisure. So, let's move on up. Do not open that door. I swear, if somebody opens that door, there will be consequences. All right, Overwatch, sure, why not? Move our supports up to the sides, since they have better movement. And yeah, our sniper is just gonna like... Also, yeah, we should probably turn that off. Oi. I have enemy unknown, enemy within, Chimera Squad, XCOM 2, and XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Right, but there's a mod for XCOM 2 called The Long War. The Long War of the Chosen, I think. And that's the mod. And there's also, um, of course, classic XCOM. So it's, I think it's XCOM UFO Defense in America and like UFO something something in Europe. There was like a weird, something weird, like the, the titles are different and that's from 1993. You've got XCOM Terror from the Deep, which is basically XCOM 2 to XCOM 1. And then there's Apocalypse, there's some other one that I don't remember. And then they basically stopped making them until Firaxis took over. Right. Robocop can go there. Everybody's going to be on Overwatch. We got to get our sniper caught up first before we move. Hmm. How caught up do we need our sniper to be really, though? Probably quite a bit. All right, so this is going to be a couple of boring turns where we just Overwatch. XCOM, yeah, XCOM, it was 90, it was like December 92, so I just say 93, but yeah, it was technically 92. All 
Alright, reload here. And then we'll just end the turn. And then we'll get ready to open this door. Wait, don't open that door. That's why I gave it to you, Jill, the master of unlocking. Oh, perfect. So let's move up. Moving. Just stay on. You still, yeah, I still play it today too. Um, There's actually quite a few really good mods for classic Moving. XCOM. And uh, my favorite is X Pirates, but I can't play that one on stream. I guess I could, I, there was somebody who was playing it on stream. It's just, it has, <laughs> it's it's a little, it's a little TOS violation-y, but I guess they let you play The Witcher and stuff in Cyberpunk, so why not let me play some XCOM, some X-Pirates mod? I don't know. It will, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it going forward. I would love to make some content for that game because there's so much stuff going on. And I would, it would be super cool to have like a little bit of collaboration. Um, people who know what they're doing in that game. Maybe give me some advice as I go through. Okay, do, like, I don't need all these alternative routes. It's a linear level. Okay, Gandalf. Where's Gandalf? Gandalf's here. Gandalf can just move up here. And move up our assault yes, sir. and then we will move up our heavy Time to motor. and then our sniper what this would actually be a good opportunity to use flight mode so we'll do that even though I know something stupid's gonna about to happen here I think we want to go right there beautiful and then make sure everybody's on Overwatch. Overwatch. And then we'll just end the turn. I'm not going to bother switching to the pistol. Am I trying to capture the sectoid? I, I probably will. But uh, right now I'm mostly just trying to finish the level. And I, I will admit I'm a little bit rusty at this game. So if I'm if it looks like I'm doing something stupid, it's because I just forgot how to play. I think I most recently played I guess Chimera Squad, really. There now. Was the most recent. Um, but then I, I mostly have been playing either X Pirates for classic XCOM or XCOM 2. Okay. Get everybody in a position. Okay. And that actually provides cover to everybody. That's super good. Sniper has no shots. I guess move up there then. Still no shot, and the flight feels almost gone. Ugh. All right, everybody on Overwatch. Overwatch. We got to do some more gene mods too. I think I, I went a little too heavily into the mechs on accident when I was trying to go for more of the gene mod stuff. But the mech has been somewhat helpful, so I can't complain too much. All right, go Overwatch. And let's see if there's anything else. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was that was quick. Holy cow. And there's the squiddies, my favorite. Let's trigger them. All right, we got them, and then we have... Presumably the sectoid commander. Yep, there he is. All right. Oh, no, he's running away. Get back here, you. That alien is clearly different from the others. It's wielding a power unlike you did not like encountered. which one didn't uh which which what didn't you like Rolling. 
I did I, I rattled off a lot of games All right, let's start hitting this thing Nice See, so we want to get him low and we want to try to capture him My concern is of course going to be the fact that um, He can do his mind control thing which would be really really bad yeah, Chimera Squad was very different from Rhea, like, XCOM. It was more... The combat system reminded me a lot more of uh, the Banner Saga. With the, like, you go, I go, you go, I go, I go, you go, whatever. And I can definitely see how people would not gravitate towards it. Okay. Overwatch. My concern is, of course, going to be... Oh, boy. I don't want to kill it. I guess we can disable it. That'll help. And yeah, we want to get our... We want to get our um, assault as close as possible here. So let's get right up. Right up close. I didn't mind Chimera Squad. It was definitely... Like I said, it was a different style of game. Like, by itself, I don't care about it. It's it's fine. But if you were looking for more XCOM, I can see why you would be disappointed. Uh-oh. Hello, Squiddy. Squilliam fancy son. Not so fancy anymore, are ya? Probably a bit overkill. Being a banner saga, I need to play through that at some point. I never got... Like, I think I own two, but I never finished it. Uh-oh. That's not ideal. Uh-oh. Ooh, boy. How do we deal with this? Hmm. Can we... Does a, I don't think a flashbang works like in the other one. I guess we could maybe flashbang... No, I don't... I didn't bring flashbangs. Oh, no. Oh, this is the worst. Um, I guess we maybe would like to... Pin him down. Suppression. There we go. Oh, mind control. I can't wait to use that against you little jerks. I'll feel so good mind controlling all the aliens. And I I don't want to kill this thing. Ugh. What, okay, how much can I do? Up to seven? How much does it have? I can do up to seven, but I don't want to do up to seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to toggle flight. Go here. And hunker down. Guess we'll overwatch here. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I don't want to kill my own guy. I don't want my other teammates to die either. What's he doing? What is this? You can do two psychic attacks? That's not fair! Ah. Uh... It's not fair, chat. It's just not fair. Sniper dis- I did the sniper disable shot. I didn't have another one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we gotta put a stop to this. Except I'm panicking. So I don't get to do that. I don't get to have that, I guess. Oh, I, sh you're I should have disabled the other one. Oh, that would have been so smart. All right, I um, think we just have to try to go for I'm all over it. this, maybe? 45% chance to hit. How long does mind control last? Hopefully not too much longer. 
Okay, well, Rillip is immune to critical hits. So maybe we can just, like, fall back. Like this. Three turns? Ugh, that's gross. Okay. Well, my goal was to... Um, capture this thing, so we're going to go for it. Because then we can get the Psy stuff sooner rather than later. Alright. He's going to come in. He's going to shoot. He's going to miss. He's going to move. You fool. You fall in for my plan. Moving, and then going to shoot at Rillip. Rillip is immune to critical hits, so it's okay. That's fine. I mean, it's not great, but... It's also not the worst thing that's ever happened in my life. All right, disable. Okay, he needs ammo, so he actually can't shoot. Perfect. So let's kill this thing first. Babush, you're dead. And then double tap. Hold on. Let's uh, do this first. Gonna heal yourself. Again, it's. Strategy games are almost like puzzle games, except I don't know. I guess the flexibility you sometimes have. You don't always get flexibility though, unfortunately. Roger that. Okay, come on. Show me the stun. Subduing time. We got him. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Now I think that lets us build the hyperwave relay or whatever. Central, this is Big Sky. The rubber's on the road and the kids are in the backseat. Wow, look, it's a bunch of centrals. See you inside. Central left. They all have silver hands for some reason. Oh, they're wearing gloves. Okay. They all look exactly the same. It's hilarious. Something wrong, Doctor? Don't you think a victory celebration is a bit premature at this juncture? We just neutralized their central command. We've got no other alerts on the entire system, and we took out their leader. In my book, that's a win, Doctor. Do I know what's coming? Yeah, the base attack. So hopefully we'll have everybody healed up in time for that. Otherwise, we do have quite a few... Quite a few, um soldiers in reserve that we can use but that'll be i think we have a little bit of time before that right hopefully yeah we got the thing commander i'm glad to see that i'm not the only one who understands this war isn't over yet the existence of this artifact, which we believe to be a communication device of some kind, mm -hmm. begs the question. If the sectoid commander was the alien leader, then who or what was it communicating with? That's right. I believe this is indeed the same creature we encountered when we made first contact with the aliens. As we have observed, it is somehow capable of using its mind I hope as you guys weapon. didn't kill it just for this. I, to I need to... This uh... specimen's brain tissue, Perhaps we might be we able to, do to the adapt thing. this ability for our own purposes. Yeah, you, you like exposition, huh? Exposition is fun. Sometimes. All right, hyperwave, blah, blah, blah. Robocop. Only one person got wounded for three days after taking that much damage. That's nuts. Confers two health recovery, allows additional uses of restorative mist. Grenade launcher and proximity mine launcher. Mm, I think repair salvos. Well, actually, hang on. What is his whole deal? Confers two bonus against targets that have been autopsied. Advanced fire control. I think I think he's more of a like bulky one. I got something on my mouse here. There we go. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of experiments. Okay, thank you. Anik has decreased worldwide. All right, let's do some free research. Interrogate. All right, psionics labs available for construction. Oh yes. 
This facility will allow us to discover and develop the latent psionic abilities of our soldiers. Excellent. Was I working on the plasma sniper? We'll do the autopsy first. This is an extremely dangerous species, Commander. Although not physically intimidating, the psionic power that this creature wields is perhaps the greatest threat we've encountered so far. Oh yes. And that power will be mine. A mimic beacon? Ooh, the mimic beacon is super good. Neural feedback. All right. This device has been blah, blah, blah. Okay. Neural feedback causes damage to psi attackers and puts all their psi attacks on cooldown. Does not reduce the attack's chance of success. Okay. Psionics? Okay, whatever. We'll do this one real quick. Let's... Psionics lab. What does that take? 200 money. I think we can get 200 money. Should have some stuff we can sell. 10. Food. Anything else? We can sell all the stasis tanks. Oh man, I thought right click might get rid of everything, but it just closes it. Lame. Alien entertainment we can sell. Alien food we can sell. Stasis tanks we can sell. I guess I should have kept more of those alive. Alien food damage, alien surgery damaged. Alien surgery we can sell. And cannot sell this item. Good. At least they won't let you soft lock yourself. 422 money. Beautiful. Let's build a psionics lab. Begin construction. Alrighty then. Scan him up. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, this is a landed one? Alright, alright, alright. So, our support was the one who got injured, right? Let's get... Invoker Gray in the game. I know I said he probably wouldn't go on any missions, but this is the perfect opportunity to send him on a mission. We have a plasma pistol, we have an alien grenade, we have a med kit. We'll give him an alien grenade, that kind of increases his uh, combat abilities. And we'll give Urban Venture the plasma pistol here. And Hex is still in, in uh, the med bay, that sucks. He's a much better mech than uh, Robocop is, I think. Plasma pistol. What else you got? Actually, did we pick up a plasma rifle? Hold on. No. No, we did not. All right, we'll try to grab some while we're out here. I guess the light plasmas, I don't know. <sighs> Like, are the light plasmas on par with the lasers, or are they are they weaker? Are they stronger? I don't remember. I'll have to look at the numbers. Because I know there is, um, one of the strategies is to skip lasers, and somebody was suggesting that the first time I streamed it. I'm like, are you going to skip lasers? I'm like, no, I don't typically do that. But then I was reading on the Steam forums, and people were giving all kinds of advice where you could... Like, if you capture an alien alive, you get access to the plasma. First of all, you get it. And then second of all, you can skip laser and go straight to plasma. Yeah, Exalt has been dealt with. Um, we finished that a little earlier today. Alright, and this will be the last mission, because it's past noon. So we'll just, we'll go quick here. We'll try to make it a good, easy one. So we'll get to show off the power of our sniper here. If I can uh, find the spot. There we go. Headed there now. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. Going in. Aye, aye, Commander. With the heavy. Oh, what is this? Okay. Well, we're right on the edge of their ability to see us, so. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. We can see them now. They can see us. Luckily, they're going to have to move in if they want to actually hit me, so... Let's move up close. Here we 
we go. And Overwatch. And yeah, this is going to be a big, big bunch of Overwatch right now. Switch to Pistol. And Overwatch as well. And Overwatch. Uh, Exalt was actually surprisingly a pain in the butt to deal with. Well, not to f not for the final mission or anything, but for one of the missions, they were able to kill Gandalf. So that was Gandalf's second death. Um, so now he's back as Gandalf the Blue. He was Gandalf the Grey. He came back as Gandalf the White. Now he's Gandalf the Blue. Because I, all that I know about the Lord of the Rings wizards is that there were some blue ones and some brown ones. Or a brown one. Oh wow, look at that Overwatch fire. And look at it all missing. It is all missing, chat. Look at it go. Here comes Vulcan Rider with another miss. Excuse me, miss. Alright, and then what's he gonna do? He's gonna shoot? He's gonna move. Alright, perfect. I can work with that. And the sectoids probably aren't worth trying to do anything with. You missed. You fool. Alright, so we'll take our sniper and deal with the sectoid real quick, because that's an easy kill. And I don't think you can stun these guys, so I'm not even going to try. But we will... Go ahead and rapid fire to do a ton of damage. Okay, not the 12 damage isn't that much, I guess. Let's get up close and personal. I was hoping that that would spot the other sectoid, but it did not. This is a robotic unit, right? Zap. Disabled by EMP. you love to see it. Yeah, I would love to get another... Okay, there we go. We can see the other sectoid, which we can then kill with the heavy. Easy peasy. And then we'll... Actually, hang on. We can take a shot with uh, the new guy. You want to get a free kill? We'll give you a, an alien grenade kill then, because... I don't want you to miss and then not get the experience. Bleh. Okay. And then Gandalf can, I suppose, move up and do a little bit of Overwatch here. But yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. Yeah, that's it. Let's finish that off. Here they come. We got the Mutons now. Saturn tries to capture a Muton with a Plasma Rifle. Research it, then jump, then into Sniper Rifle and Heavy Plasma and Plasma Cannon. All the big jumping weapons. It's, it's, yeah, it's true. So I think if I'm, if I play through this again, which I, I very well might, because I'm, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, so we'll either, I don't know if I want to do XCOM 2 next, or maybe do Long War. But either way, um, I think I'm going to try to go for that strategy. Let's get the rocket out. We got him. Yeah, so we're gonna try to capture some mutons here. Here comes the muton. All right, so unfortunately we can't quite get close enough, but maybe, just maybe, we can take some shots and kill couple of these guys before they do too much damage. We'll do a headshot here, try to get a critical. And then take an, okay, not take another shot, I guess. It's gonna move a little bit closer first. He's dead, perfect. All right, then we're gonna move up. There's the meld. And Gandalf's gonna move up and hunker down. Because I would like to get Gandalf in there to stun one. So if we're gonna stun one, suppose we wanna kill the other then, huh? There we go. And we'll 
go here and hunker down as well. Just avoid any excess damage if we can. All right, here comes the Mouton. It's not falling back at all. What are you talking about? Gandalf, move up. Move up here. Stun him. 90% chance. We got him. All right. A laser rifle or a plasma rifle is now ours. Sniper is still available. Let's move up here. Nothing spotted. Go ahead and move up with the mech as well. Three turns to get the meld. I think we can probably yeah, grab that. Reload. Uh, I don't really want to like dash for the meld right now. You go Ar Iron Man hardest level on the game. Mimic skins work every time. Yeah, I, I feel uh, mimetic skin, right? The one that just makes you invisible. Ready to engage. I don't know that I would ever do impossible. I definitely don't mind do playing classic like I'm playing right now. I have a lot of fun with that. Um, but impossible just like I feel like it would be really frustrating. Okay, so here comes the sectoids. Here comes the overwatch. You fools, you sectoids. What is wrong with you? Thought we were done with the sectoids, but now they're back. 75% chance to hit. I'll take it. You got him. Do it again. 60%. You miss. That's okay. All right, Gandalf, go grab this. Meld. We'll just pop, go right there. There he is. The commanders. Oh, there's three of them. Wow, they really don't want you messing that up, huh? Like, hey, did you miss the uh, the first one? Now here's three of them for you. Enjoy. Mm hmm. All right, hang on. I guess we can take a shot here. Missed. That's okay. Gandalf the the eighth. Gandalf the Chartreuse. Perhaps, perhaps it will come to that, but not not yet. But seriously, Gandalf's the only one who's died that um, that wasn't like a rookie or whatever. And he's died twice. I don't know if I am putting him into more harm than I would typically put them in. Yeah, you're a bullet sponge. Yeah, it's certainly one way to put it. All right, let's see if we can get this one. Oh, come on, man. The stupid sectoid commanders have way too much health. Go Overwatch here. Yeah, dealing with the psionics is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt. But I think we'll be okay. Yeah, that's true. I have seen Lord of the Rings. He does carry the party. He basically does all the work besides carry the ring itself. Going for the mind control. Oh no, just panicking? Oh, which which ability is that? No, 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 no. Oh, you're okay. He's just moving. That's fine. Moving. Mind control? Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. That's not ideal. Because that is, of course, one of our more powerful um, people. Oh, great. Cool. Yeah. That's probably fine. Okay. Who's still alive, first of all? Because we need to we need to get some shots going here. Gandalf, carry the party, please. Oh my gosh, something just happened, and I want to see what it was. 
Alco Adrenarchy. Oh, welcome. Welcome, everybody, to the stream. We're doing XCOM today. And, okay, was also playing XCOM. That explains it. You got to keep the fun times rolling, huh? Ooh, do we take the 60, 65% flanking shot? Or... Do, I guess we take this shot first. So let's go headshot. Because this will unmind control one of our people. That's good. I I think. So who got unmind controlled? Uh, Nobody, because they still have to take their turn, I guess. I don't know. All right. You... What are you going to do? There's not really a good spot for me to go here to shoot this one. Uh, maybe here? Hang on. I obviously, I don't, oh, I guess I could just disabling shot. That's fine. Saturn gave that idea on the last mission that I didn't get a chance to use it, but now we can use it. We'll go here. I guess we'll see what we can shoot. The answer is we have a 10% chance to hit this guy. I guess we'll take it. You roll a, a 19 or a 20. I did not roll a 19 or a 20. You love this game. I I also love this game. I I keep going back and forth like whether this is is this is good or XCOM 2 is good is better. Um I feel like the the mechanics of 2 are better, but the story and the setting and sort of the the weaponry and all that stuff is better in this one. Okay. What's he going for? Mind control? On Gandalf? Man, we gotta get the Psy Shields or something. This is crazy. There now. We're getting torn up by these guys. Yeah, you're gonna have to reload there, my friend. Okay, this is a bit of an issue. Um, cause that... That shotgun is kinda dangerous. Alright, mech. I need you. Oh no, we can only like barely move. That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll ignore Gandalf. I think we wanna, okay, we can't flame him. We'll throw a grenade to deal with his cover. I don't wanna hit the power source if that's at all possible. Yeah, that works. Yeah, th I, I agree, this one is a little harder also. Okay, where can I move? Let's go here. Oh crap, I forgot about that ability. Oh sure, it works when they're mind control, but it doesn't work when I'm using them? What the hell? 51% chance to hit. Okay, well I guess take it. Oh, critical, wow, it's not bad. Unfortunately, that's not gonna help you. Alright, we're gonna just stand out in the open, because at this point... Another one! Alright, this is just... this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. You guys remember how that didn't trigger once when the chrysalids were coming at me? Now it's triggering all the time. Alright, we grenade him. Okay, so that one's dead. I don't want to shoot my own person. So I guess we'll just reload here. And then hope for the best. There he goes. Panic? Okay, panic's fine. Yeah, that's go 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 hide somewhere. I think Vulcan can tank a lot more. Uh-oh. Well, Invoker Gray. You're still alive. I can't believe it. I literally cannot believe it. That's that's amazing. 
All right, we're gonna, okay, screw the meld. I don't care. Blow up the meld. We gotta take care of this thing. Valen, I swear to God. If you say one more thing about destroying the meld. Okay, who's got shots on this? The sniper does not have shots. Oh, jeez. Okay. We could maybe have a shot here with the mech. 55% chance. He's standing in the open. He's got nothing going on. And I got a 55% chance to hit him. Unacceptable. Okay. There we go. So we might we may be down one invoker gray at the end of this if Gandalf doesn't hit. He hits. Alright. Gandalf coming in clutch. Mission accomplished. You're too new to die to No, that's true. Yeah, you're still alive, don't worry. It was close though. The the mind control Um is starting to cause problems, and we may have to bust out some psi shields or something. Invoker Gray was the only one who got injured on that. We got a plasma rifle, we got another alien grenade. So let's quickly interrogate the Muton. That's going to give us the plasma weaponry weapons credit. That's perfect. Okay. And I know I said this was the last one, but let's do one more since we got a raid. I don't want to... I don't want to duck out right away with a bunch of people here. Okay, what are we making? Do the Mimic Beacon. Can be used to attract their attention to an area. Uh, sure, let's try it out. I don't think I've ever used this one. And then... Do we maybe want to build another firestorm? I mean, might as well, right? Can't afford to do two. Oh wait, hang on. Are we building the psychic chamber? Okay, we are. It's going to take quite a bit of time, though. Alright, alright, alright. Is there anything else that we might need that we haven't built yet? We could do another lab. I think most people, the the information I was getting from the forum was like, don't even make a lab, just make workshops. And maybe that is the play. Okay, we'll make another firestorm. All right, spin the wheel. Hyperwave communication. Hyper oh, the hyperwave relay, that's what we can make. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to build that, huh? Light plasma rifle does us no good. Let's get the plasma sniper rifle going. And how much does it cost to build the insufficient funds? It costs 175. We should have enough stuff to sell. Damaged. Yeah, my bad, guys. Really, we don't need more power sources than we have light computers. You think I should have some flashbangs? Uh, I don't- flashbangs don't work the same way in this one that they do in the other, right? I can't break mind control with them. Hyperwave relay, yes. Oh my gosh, Nevada51, welcome. Thank you for the follow, and, uh, I hope you enjoy your time here. Excellent! And there's your little- there's your little sound alert. It is separate from the one that automatically plays. Plasma Sniper is next on the list. All right. We got the Plasma Sniper now. That gives us the best weapon in the game. Next up, we'll want to go for the Alloy Cannon. That's the improved... Hang on. Alloy Cannon is the improved shotgun, right? I think it is. Okay. Okay. Spin the wheel. And here is our report. We got an A. Nice. Your recent results were beyond our 
And with that in mind, can we afford to make another firestorm? Yes, we can. We can make one. Fair enough. Spin it again. Just a small one? Alright, that's fine. We'll send out the raven. And a small scout should be good for getting a little bit of practice in as well. Alright, yeah, just go ahead and hit him hard. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Alright, send the Sky Ranger. Who are we bringing with us? Um, we can finally rotate out uh, the other one. Right? Where is... Who's our other mech? Oh, Hex. There we go. And we'll make all the items... Hang on. Make items available. Make sure he's loaded out with paladin armor. Yeah, I I knew that already. Thank you, Dr. Shen. Yeah, Allo Cannon with the run and gun is going to be amazing. Okay. Adventure coming in with the Archangel armor. We just need another support. And that's going to be... Rainbow Yeti, who is not yet a colonel. I I don't know how much I want to invest in bringing people that are already maxed out. Ooh, yeah. Very sexy, very nice. And how about a Mimic Beacon? He gets double uses. Hang on, can I bring an alien grenade? No. All right. So the question is, who do we want to have the plasma rifle? It's probably got to be... We'll make it Yeti here. All right. Uh, assault is good. Everybody's good. Hang on. Have an alien grenade. Perfect. Let's try it out. Try to capture some more mutons, get their plasma rifles, and then we'll be good to go. And there we go. You guys remember that time that I got all the way there and then I hit return to base on accident? Boy, that was stupid. My body is ready. Let's fight these guys. Right, where is the UFO? Looks like it's up here. All right. We'll just start I'm moving rolling. up. No rush. So we'll go ahead and toggle flight. Get some nice coverage here. And hopefully don't end up in another situation where the UFO is blocking us from shooting our targets. That would suck. Moving. Mech's gonna move up. And then our other support. Heading to that location. Archangel armor is seriously like my favorite thing in this game. Wait, what is the. Okay. Emits sound that attracts enemies. Okay. Let's try it. I mean, if we. If the enemies come to us, that's less work we have to do, right? Bust out the plasma pistol. Did I, I unlock the plasma sniper rifle and I didn't make it? Did I? Oh, chat. Why do I do this to myself? I spent all that research and then I didn't even make the rifle. Hmm. Okay. It's fine. Ooh, meld. Hello. Let's do this. Go ahead and dash here. Move up the mech. The Mimic Beacon's not doing anything. Is it supposed to do something? I mean, it's making noise. I can hear it. But I don't see any enemies. I guess is my concern. Whoops. Yeah, whoops indeed. 
I specifically went hard for the plasma sniper so I would have it, and then I didn't even bother to make one before we left. Say, Livy. We'll get it next time. Okay. The Mimic Beacon is doing absolutely nothing. Neat. All right, Rainbow Yeti, let's see what you can see. And all that he could see, and all that he could see was nothing. All right, let's get these, let's lure these guys out. And see if perhaps there is a way. Oh, it's something's happening, it sounds like. Yeah, there you are. Okay, we'll move our assault up because we would ideally like to have them in position for... Oh, yeah, let's just move them here. I would ideally like to have them in position for the stunning when it gets to that part. And yeah, apparently I'm having lunch now, so yeah, we're gonna have to... We're, we are gonna have to wrap it up after this mission. But hey, uh, thanks for thanks for coming by. And uh, hope you hope to see you in the future. We'll be playing XCOM for the foreseeable future at this rate. I've been having a blast with it. It's been a while since I did a full playthrough. So this has been a nice change of pace from my normal content with Kerbals and the uh, the other stuff that we've been doing. Okay, we already moved. And here they come. All right. It's a bunch of mutons. Just the way I like them. They're mutating. I always wondered where they got the names for some of the aliens. Like, I know they were in the original, but, like, where they got them in the original. Hey, guys, try not to kill all of them. I'd like to stun at least one. All right, perfect. So is Gandalf close enough to stun? He's not, chat. Oh no. What a world, what a world. Uh-oh. Hello, commanders. All right, those are our priority targets right now. So let's take care of them first. Do I, do I need to stun now? I don't need to. Um, but this, if I would like to get their plasma rifles primarily, go ahead and collect that, do a little run and gun action. And of course, I always say you shouldn't like try to flank into unobserved territory, but sometimes that's just how things go. Our 90% chance of critical if we hit. Wow. Well, we hit, uh, <laughs> I guess, in our manner of speaking. Oh, you know, we can probably leave the, the mutants alive for now. Let's see. Oh, hey, guys, look at this. 69, dudes! Let's get them. Bill and Ted, come on. 69% should have hit. Ridiculous. All right, let's get them. 75% chance to hit. Let's go, Vulcan Rider. Got him. All right, so there's one less mind control potential person. And as far as this goes, I am tempted to just smoke grenade us. And if they try to flank, I guess Gandalf will soak up some damage. We can actually probably disabling shot the big one. Yeah, this is the one we want, so we'll disable him. And then we should be able to stun one next turn and then stun the other. Oh, we get another shot, huh? Maybe we can shoot the one and get it down real low. So we can really stun him up. They won't like that. Okay, so he's gonna move, he's gonna take a flanking shot. Oh, yikes. Got real good there. 
All right, now he's going. Oh, so they just r straight straight up run for the mimic beacon. That's interesting. All right, who is going to get mind controlled? It's going to be Rainbow Yeti. Man. I don't remember the mind control being this effective. It's kind of frustrating, actually. All right, let's see what we can do here. So obviously I can't run and gun again, because I already did that. But maybe we can just get a good shot. 61% chance to hit. That's not really good enough, is it? All right, first let's get Gandalf to stun one of these mutons. Yeah, we'll just go here. We'll stun this one, I guess. Yeah, give me that laser, the plasma rifle. Okay. Then we can shoot. Okay, perfect. We can get this one. Let's get him. Get that mind control out of here. This is my house. All right, and then we have a 71% chance to hit this one. Let's take him out. Okay, we missed. That's okay. Okay, let's get him. 100% chance. He's dead. And we're still going, I guess. Reload. I am... Yeah, I'm definitely interested in getting some fixes for the mind control stuff. That's getting a little frustrating. And by fix, I mean the, uh, the like, the tinfoil hat you can get. I'm all over it. Do, do, do. Nobody there? Alright. Go ahead and overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. I actually just reload. We're green to go. Move up. What are we expecting to see now? More mutons, maybe? Alright, you're, you're fine. Sorry you got mind controlled, buddy. These things happen. Overwatch. And we're good to go. They're on the far side of the UFO, huh? Oh, here they come. Perfect. It's a mechdoid. That's okay. We can, we can work with those. Question is, do we have line of sight with the sniper rifle? We do not. Okay. Can we maybe go down so we do have line of sight next turn? The answer is, will not surprise you, but the answer is no. All right. Now we have... Well, we do have run and gun plus rapid fire and uh, lightning reflexes available, so let's take that. So he's going to overwatch, he's going to miss. Ah, you stupid. And then we will shoot. Uh, oh wait, that's another commander. Oh no. Um... I think we got to take out the mechdoid because we can actually hit it. We'll worry about the commander in a minute. Okay, perfect. Let's get the mech in there. And we should be able to finish him off with the railgun. 89% should hit. I say should hit, like, I mean, that's a... It's a one or a two on a on a D twenty to miss, right? You got to think about it in terms of D and D. You're rolling on that D twenty. There's always a chance you could miss. Right, let's start closing in on this uh, mind control thing. Yes, sir. We can't give him any respite. We just gotta push, get him flanked. Make it so he can't stay in one place. Time to motor. There we go. And this, yeah, this should be the last alien here. So he's going to move. He's going to get to... I thought he was going to get to cover, but I guess not really. 
So he's going to get the mind control off. That's fine. Now we need to move as far as we can here. We don't actually have eyes on the alien. All right. Next. Can we hit the alien? The answer is no. All right. That's okay. Can we panic the alien? Position or maybe chuck a grenade to blow up his cover. We cannot We cannot flamethrower the alien. Guess we'll hit him with a grenade. And then maybe we'll get the sniper shot if we blow up the wall. The answer is another resounding no. I don't get to have that one. Okay. In that case, maybe we just get real close and try to kill him the old-fashioned way. Oh my gosh, this ability is ridiculous and not fair. <laughs> if I would just remember that I have, uh, that we should have it, even if it doesn't always work. Yeah, that only six damage from a plasma rifle? What the hell? All right. Um, let's flank okay. this guy here. Gandalf is going to move up. And he's going to maybe kill this, the 65% chance to kill it. He got it. Yes. Gandalf coming in clutch with the mind controls. Getting rid of them. Amazing. All right. So we're all done there. We're going to wrap it up. I'm going to eat some lunch. We're going to head over and raid Fred's, uh, Frederick Knudsen's stream in progress. So let's get out of here. And we'll pick this up again Monday evening. If you want to watch again, go ahead and drop follow or just remember my channel. Uh, ending soon. And yeah, everybody have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks for all the raids and the follows and the, the whatevers, whatever else happened. Hold on, I gotta do this now. All right, click, 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 click. Oh, you gotta wait, huh? Gandalf Lundgren, you're not new. Come on. Well, here we go.